to extract the data from the URI. There are many ways to extract the data from the URI. Now, first one is at the rate path parameterization. So today's topic is how to extract the data from the URI. Now you see, now it is how to extract the data from the URI. To extract the data from the URI, you should use at the rate path param annotation. This annotation is used to extract the data from the URI as URI path. If URI path structure is like this, one is at the rate path, you will use only one template param. If you have more than one, use more than one template param. So this at the rate path param is usually to, to extract the data from the URI. This name, this name should be same. This name, this name should be same. Otherwise, you will get an error. Both names should be same. Otherwise, you will get an error. So it is at the rate path param. This is at the rate path. Understood? No. So here it is. Here it is public string get orders at the rate path param string order ID at the rate path param now string this name done. Okay, clear. This annotation is used to extract the data from the URI as URI path. Understood here. Hope okay, everything is good now till now. Okay, everything is good now. Okay, next one. Next one. Okay, next one. What is next one? See. Next one is till now we are good. So if you have more than one argument here, you need to use that many at the rate of path params here. Now the example three, I will show you all this practical example three. Now example three means it is these are from template. Now okay, example three, sometimes you will get some regular expressions. <laughs> What is regular expressions? Regular expressions may, means you have order ID only or you have order name only. Depends, but here instead of order ID, instead of order ID, you will get like regular expressions. What is that regular expressions? You will get like bold is not good you will get this id this one means what it indicates any stream of characters followed by orders any stream of characters followed by orders irrespective of the this dot plus means any stream of characters followed by order here any stream of characters followed by is not correct but here any stream of characters followed by order so you have to know so any stream of characters followed by get orders followed by get orders now that's the thing you should be know that's the thing you should know th this one here now please okay try to focus here okay, try to focus here now okay, next one see now we'll see how to extract the data from the uri how to extract the data from the uri if the uri is at the rate at the rate query param annotations this annotation is usually to extract the data from the query string this annotation is usually to extract the data from the query string extract the data from the query string how to do this one extract if it is how the query string structure 
for the string structure is order id is 1 to 3 for string structure is order id is equal to 1 to 3 and name is equal to mobile order id is 1 to 3 and name is equal to mobile it is the query string how to extract the data from the uri if it is query string means see if it is query string means first two examples would be same how to extract but query string data is not coming in the form of uri path data is coming in as a query string as a query string this won't be there here here query param here query param data is not coming in the form of uris data will be coming in the form of query string you need to take so it depends upon the requirement now you need to take this one hey my requirement is i have huge many query strings are there i have used many query strings are there now example three use order id order name description description is good and you know either it should go for ascending order or descending order ascending is either it will be true or what is the do you allow for the sorting order or not you know, sorting order is true and so on i should follow so many things i should do so many things see how to do if it is go for query param example three example three you need to write too many write too many query params write too many query params annotation write too many query param annotation write too many f for every query string you should write that uh, query param annotation for every query string you should write that query param annotations for every query string you should write that query param annotations like if it is too many you have to write uh, here is that you have to write too many name description ascending sorter you have to write so many it's not a good uh, if uh, 20 if 20 query params are there do, do you need to write 20 query param it's not correct so to avoid to avoid to avoid too many to avoid too many at the rate of query params to avoid too many at the rate of query params then we should go for to avoid too many at the rate of query params to avoid too many at the rate of query params then we should go for then we should go for then we should go for we should go for at the rate context URI info annotation at the rate context URI info annotation at the rate context URI info annotation at the rate context URI info At the rate context you are in for at the rate context you to avoid too many at the rate query params, then we should go for 
at the rate of context URI info annotation. You need to extract the data from the URI. Extract the URI data. Extract the query string data. URI info. Extract the query string data from the URI info. Extract the purchasing data from the URI info. Okay, this is for use case for now. How many example fours are there? You will see. I will show you practically everything. I will show you practically everything. Example four. Query params plus headers. That means in your how the okay how the requirement would be there you have one query params if you have one query params plus header value is header value is just you need to handle the user agent or you need to go for user agent how to read the user agent It is a predefined address or you have user defined address user defined address may be client id client id is amazing how to do it so do you know how to read the query string do you know how to read the query string do you know how to read the query string Do you know how to read the query string? But how to read the headers? Go for at the rate header param. How to extract the web value from the header? When we should go for path param? When we should go for query param? We'll discuss all. You should not write a continuous straight line. You are writing coding. Always we should follow some coding standards. User agent. Client ID. String. Client ID, string client ID. First one is user agent. Second one is string client ID. String client IDs. This is for how to extract the data from the URL. How to read. Now here. Inside of this, we can read the read the data from query param under headers. Apply the business logic. 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 That's it. Apply the business logic. That's it. <clears throat> now clear. Now what happens? You know. Now, so too many, too many headers is not okay. Good. Too many, too many headers will be there. So if 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 the if the request will have too many headers, then then it is not good good to write too many header rate header params. 
to avoid that to avoid that we should go for to avoid that we should go for instead of too many headers instead of too many headers to avoid that we should go for instead of too many headers at the right context http headers that's it how to read the from the headers you should do that at the right context http headers how to read the headers we should do that how to to read the headers we should do that understand so this is the way how to read the values from the path pair amount query string just have a look once now we'll see practicals have a look once now we'll see practicals after practicals now i will explain when we should use path param when we should use query param i will explain now please swap through once once if any doubts we'll discuss before going into a k example we'll discuss once here then we'll start our example we check once take one minute time two minutes time please check once let me know team once it is done done sir yeah hope okay everyone is good others are good team yes sir yeah no i'm scroll down Yeah, is it done, team? Please let me know once you are done. Done, sir. Yeah. Uh, Other also done, team. Team, once all are done, then. Okay, now we'll start. Now we'll see. Yeah, no practicals. We'll see how it happens. All this stuff. So the difference would be same. Create Maven project. Add, add the dependencies in palm.xml. create the maven project add the dependencies in palm.xml 
here whatever name you can give it's not a problem here no create the maven ebu project added the dependencies in pom.xml com.sun.jc now if that is okay then what we do then what we do now go to here go to here no so your f.xml would be common for everything your okay f.xml is common for everything it is your f.xml common wherever your resources path is there wherever your resources path is there that is what your resources path it is your resource it is your resources that's it it is your resources okay that's it now good now we'll see now we'll see hope we are good everything now we'll see now if you want two arguments at the rate two path params will come if you want only one argument you should come only one will come any stream of characters means any value after this one two three after this get orders any value you can pass any stream of characters followed by this it is able to read it i am not writing this big um, business logic i am only using how to extract the data from the uri it is my path param if you go for a query we have different use cases on query we have so many use cases on query we have so many use cases on query one is order resource see query params order request to query order request to query all are query params how to read the values from the query params how to read the values from the query params at the rate query param at the rate query param at the rate header param we have mix up first example if three query params are there you need to add three at the rate query params to avoid this we should go for v2 version what is your v2 version v2 version is now here see at the rate context uri info that's it at the rate context uri info how to extract the values from the uri info uri info dot get query params dot get first order id get first name get first o type this is what how to do okay now i want to read all the params at once i want to read all the params at once i want to read all the params at once how to do multi valued map info get query params this is one map dot get of id get of name get of o type done this is what how to read if you want to read all the params at once go for in this approach if you want to read one by one go for in this approach both are same ultimately instead of writing too many query params we are reading the values from the query params at the rate context to uri info that's it go for here 
here mixing of both query param and header param okay but i don't want too many query params too many header params what i should do so query param is only one is okay at the rate context http headers so how to iterate all these headers for each loop headers dot get request headers key set so one by one header value will come get those header key name and header value name headers dot get request header of header value that's it depends upon the requirement you should use this it depends upon the requirement you should use this now what i'm trying to say i'm going to deploy this to our run as mb installed i'm going to deploy these two applications this also run as mb installed run as mb application run as mb application we are doing now <clears throat> now once it is done once it is done now what would do once it is done what will do now next one now i'm going to deploy the application refresh target refresh target i'm going to deploy path param and query param both okay let me deploy one by one copy where is my tomcat I'm going to deploy these two apps. okay now it is there now if you see how to access this one http colon localhost 2021 tomcat tomcat Now that's done now here see how to extract now this one now if you see observe this path param if it is a path param see the code how to pass the arguments see the code how the uri all are get only so you can test from the browser no need postman but if it is headers is there you cannot pass the headers from the browser that's why postman is required slash headers slash orders info slash order id one two three order name mobile you need to pass slash rest your f dot xml first you should reach see get customer details called you want to Proof order ID one two three order name mobile 
ఆర్డర్ ఐడి వన్ టూ త్రీ ఆర్డర్ నేమ్ మొబైల్ ఆర్డర్ ఐడి వన్ టూ త్రీ ఆర్డర్ నేమ్ మొబైల్ దట్ సిట్ డన్ ఆర్డర్ ఐడి వన్ టూ త్రీ ఆర్డర్ నేమ్ మొబైల్ దట్ సిట్ డన్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ హియర్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ హియర్ నో బట్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ పాసింగ్ మొబైల్ you will get 404 resource not found means in path param input argument is mandatory if you are not passing any one of the input arguments means it could not able to identify the resource it could not able to identify the resource in path param input argument is mandatory if you will not pass the input then you will get error see that is the problem here if any one of the argument you will not pass you will get an error saying that input arguments are mandatory otherwise you will get yeah i can show you of okay, execution from the postman see it is my postman see i am passing after this slash rest slash orders orders info whenever you click i go i will get the response see so get customer details would be called here response as of now it is a string so if you will not pass i will i am i am not passing 1 2 3 it will give error 404 resource not found so the representation of your target resource is not willing to disclose it's not found understood in path param input argument is mandatory then you should go for path param how the next one uri next one uri is slash rest slash orders slash slash orders slash get orders slash you need to pass anything any stream of characters any stream of characters any stream of characters followed by get orders see get customer details would be called get customer details called star star so it is called okay, regular expressions it is called regular expressions as it is called normal one whereas it is called normal one it is called regular expressions understood no okay, clear okay, next one c next one c so done this is called path param if path param input argument is mandatory you will miss the input argument you will get to 404 resource not found http code 404 means resource not found so one of the input argument is not passing you will get to 404 404 means resource not found done what is next one c query params go to query here so many use cases what are the use cases query params we have so many use cases query params we have so many use cases what are the use cases what are the use cases query params will have so many use cases what are the use cases go for first use case i'm closing all this is the uri path mandatory 
first request to go your cap.xml uri path is mandatory query params now here after that query string what is the query string order id order name slash v1 you have slash v1 you have order id is equal to one two three and name is equal to mobile and mobile and order type is equal to that's it now whereas here next one it is v2 same you can pass as a v2 but coding wise you'll see if you click on v1 coding wise if you click on v1 so you are reading using one by one query parameters so at the rate of query param order id at the rate query param order name at the rate query param v2 means instead of you will write all arguments are same order id order name only instead of you will pass too many query params you will pass at the rate context info is enough now see order id one two three order name is order and type is this one if you go for next one see it is a map order id one two three it is v2 both are same but one is a read individual query param other one is a read at the rate context you are in for read at the rate context you are in for that's it okay depends upon the requirement you should use it here okay, that's it now now next one what is next one now here see now next one what is next one see here what is next one now please concentrate now next one please concentrate what is next one go for so okay you, you can test these two things yeah one second yeah see okay you can test these two things by using by using postman also come to postman it is a get come to postman it is a get okay we don't have any option we should go for postman only the reason is if the input arguments for query param and headers headers are predefined headers are user defined predefined headers means user agent it will be given by the browser predefined headers means user agent it will be given by the browser but this client id and ip address can't given by the browser because these are the user dependent headers. compulsory you need to pass from the postman only first we'll frame how this uri here interesting one is in query param if you will not pass any of the argument you will not pass any of the argument so order type you, will, okay, you are not passing order type you are not passing if you are not passing order type what would be happened see you got the uh, null in query param if the input argument you will not pass then it will give default value in query param if the input value you will not pass then you will get default value the default value is a null value 
If, whereas in path param, if the input argument is mandatory, if you will not pass the input argument, then you will get 404 resource not found error. In query param, if the input argument is not mandatory, you will not pass the input arguments, you will get a default value. You will get a default value. Understood, team? Now please concentrate. That's it. Now the next one. So, Headers, how to pass the headers? First, we will frame the URI. HTTP colon localhost slash rest. Till now, here is okay. From here, slash order score. Slash order score. Slash v1. Slash orders for is slash viewer. Here you will not pass any order ID. It is informing that take a default order value is one, two, three. Anyhow, we'll pass it. It's not a problem. Even though you will not pass, it will take a default value as one, two, three, four. Order name. Order name is now here is mobile. Order name is now here mobile. Order name, order name is now here is mobile. How this mobile and all will show you, will tell you. Order name is mobile. Yeah, mobile now. Now here see. What is the user agent? What is the user agent? You are passing headers. You no need to send. Your browser will send automatically, or your postman will send automatically. But client ID is our user defined headers. IP address here is header. Something now here. See. Now you need to pass this one. Now you need to pass this one. Now you need to pass this one. At least try to understand. Now you need to pass this one. Now you need to pass this one. Okay, now how to do? Go to here. Headers are mandatory. Go to headers. We will pass. Okay, if you will not pass, who will take care? Amazing. IP address. You will pass the IP address. You will pass the IP address. Now, what would happen? Now, here, see. Now, we'll see. I'm going into checking. All are okay. Swapy logs. Who is the user agent? What is the client ID? What is the IP address? And all. See, now if you see here, user agent Mozilla. So your um, postman is taking default is Mozilla and Chrome. Each browser you want, okay. Now client ID is Amazon. IP address is this. You cannot pass predefined, uh, you know, user defined address for the browser. Browser will give only user defined, uh, predefined address. If you want your own user defined address, you should go for postman only. You should go for postman only. See, this is the way how to you, you test from the postman for get. Later, I will show you the post also. Later, I will show you the post also. Understood team here. 
now next one what is next one too many header params will come how it come you you don't need to worry if too many headers will come same headers only same query only what i will do same request only instead of here v1 v2 here order name is not coming too many headers you can write how many headers you want you can write who who is stopping you see if i am not giving it will give how many how many how many inbuilt how many predefined headers will be given by the browser it will give all the headers if you want to prove it is a sop means it is printing on the tomcat console you can able to see it is printing on the tomcat console you can able to see now here see no need for uh, you know uh, no need for this first we will give from the browser browser will give list of predefined headers then we'll go for this one see the sop see the sop see how many predefined headers we have how many predefined headers we have we have so many predefined headers post connect so many upgrade insecure user agent accept cookie so many predefined headers how many predefined headers are required all predefined headers are given here so if you want to give from the postman see postman where we are in take this uri a part of predefined i want to pass some custom how to copy the headers from previous bulk edit copy go to here headers bulk edit paste it click on key value edit that's it instead of typing one by one copy from previous project headers to in this project copy from previous project headers to in this project now click on set see delivered one two three but along with the user predefined headers you are also got user defined headers like client id like ip address understood this is the way how you need to pass the headers from the postman if in your project you have you are going to handle only predefined headers no need for this postman in your project you are pass you need to pass you user different headers also then postman is required then postman is required understood here any questions any doubts you can ask now now we'll see when we should go for path para then we should go for query param then we should go for path param then we should go for query param path param query param path params queries param if the input argument is so it is used to extract the data from the uri it is also used to extract the data from the uri number 1 it is used extract the data from the uri it is also used extract the data from the uri now next one if the input is mandatory if the input is mandatory
in path param in path param input is mandatory in path param input is mandatory that, that means if he will not pass input then we'll get if you will not pass input then we'll get 404 error so it's not resource found. not in correct param input is optional then then if the correct param input is optional If we will not pass input, if we will not pass, then then it will be set for it. default value of that param. Then it will be set default value of that param. Yeah, that is, we will not get any error. Third one. If the input is small, small like uh, retrieve the data based on order ID, retrieve the data based on order ID or card number. Okay, input is small. Go ahead with input is small and input mandatory. Go to this. If we, if input is large. large and optional data then use input is use input is large and optional data like like input is large large means large like get the data based on the filter based on filtering like i want to get the data from sorting from the order order wise and from the sorting from the order wise from the sorting from the order wise and next one if the input is large like get the data based on the filtering like sorting comma order wise comma order wise comma now next one now paging paging okay now you have like compagination like paging like start index end index these kind of use cases we should go for because their input is an optional here the uris will be catched in the browser catched means if you type now from next time even though you will type one single word the URI automatically will, will come here. Query params URIs will not be cached here. So it depends upon the requirement. You should go for path param and you should go for query params. Okay, depends upon the requirement. You should go for either path params and you should go for query params. Hope understood team. Any question, and you should go for path param, and you should go for query params. Any questions, team? No, sir. So, hope you know now what is exact use case. Okay. Now, next one we should go for matrix param. 
next one we should go for matrix param next one we should go for matrix param how to do this matrix param matrix param is used to extract the data from the uri as a matrix argument at the rate matrix param at the rate matrix param next use case at the rate matrix param this annotation is used to this annotation is used to extract the data from the okay, extract the data from the matrix params how this structure is there how this structure is this this annotation is used to extract the data from the matrix param extract the data from the matrix param after question mark semicolon after question mark semicolon no and here if the uri format is like this way same as all our query params only but except uri is caching if the matrix means uri more uris will be more caching otherwise all would be same if input you will not pass you will get an okay if there okay input you will not pass you will get default values okay everything would be same only difference is if the matrix is in the form of so in this uri so this uris would be cached here this uris would be cached here how the uris would be cached here understood team wherever query param is there happily you can write matrix param wherever query param is there happily you can write matrix param. the only thing is so this is how to work with this matrix param see how the uri structure see uri structure is this one order id is one two three four order name is mobile or something like that now we'll see practically how this matrix param will work now we'll see practically no run as mv installed same as query params but matrix uh, params uh, you know matrix uh, params uris should be like uh, what do you call cached here now clear now next one any questions no i will deploy this matrix params i will let you know Now here see now run as mv installed run as mv installed no. just we'll see take this copy go to here let's see automatically it would be started or not automatically it would be started deploying where application is okay matrix params also is okay now
did you get matrix para yes same as the previous one nothing is there okay depends upon the requirement see how the orders matrix slash v1 first one slash v1 that's it now here requirement here mixing of both path para mixing of both matrix para so in matrix para okay input is an optional that's why i am even though i am not passing order name and order type it will give null whereas if it is path param input argument is mandatory you need to pass input arguments otherwise you will get as a 404 resource not found see slash rest why it is not slash rest slash order matrix slash v1 triple one resource not found slash rest slash order matrix v1 v1 after v1 we are giving one two three one two three slash rest the input argument is this one matrix slash rest your dot xml slash matrix slash v1 not about it see now order id is one two three one order name is null order type is null these two are optional these two are optional these two are optional if the input argument is a mandatory then only you should go if the input argument is optional then no need to go then no need to go here understood so now next one i will give only order name i will not give order type so how to give till order id is a path variable that's why the value is come path after that after that it is a matrix matrix param is semicolon see i got mobile type is optional still if you want to type you can give go to type here is the type here you can give type also it should work that's it see matrix param is same as this query whatever query params features same but here uris will be cached here it depends upon the requirement whether we should go for matrix param we should go for query param we should go for path param it depends upon the requirement you should go to here now you'll see next example all params how many params we have we should go for all the params now how many params we have we should go for all the params now very very important this one if you understand this you will get knowledge on all the params if you understand this you will get knowledge on all the params all the params means you will get a path param you will get query param you will get a matrix param you will get all the params now here see first we will see and examples get resource how many are there here path is there at the red path how to extract the values using at the red path it is get resource slash one two three using matrix pair only get how it works matrix means by separating with semicolon here it is a query params 
if you will not pass all these query params default values will be zero no name but query params are id name and so on how to frame the uri i will explain now get session id get user list user list means it will give list of users array but at the rate produces internally will use jacks b to convert your users to java object to convert this users to java object to convert this users to java object how it is possible now we'll see practically now we'll see practically okay now we'll see now c team it is only for get similarly post resource if you pass the form data how to pass the form data from the browser how to read this value i will show you practically how to send this user data i will show you practically similarly put resource similarly put resource to put the data now the delete resource how to delete the values from the server just all are done one is pending that one i will explain what is the use of bean param what is the use of bean param at the rate bean param i would say it is usual to extract the data from the uri in the form of same params in the it is usual to extract the data from the uri it is used to extract the data from the URI in the form of in the form of group of same params are group of same params are group of mix params it group of same params are group of mix params it is used to extract the data from the uri uri in the form of group of same params or group of mixed params that means c earlier i told case one too many query perhaps how to if you have too many query perhaps instead of writing this too many query perhaps what you will do you need to declare one b i will show you practically this order b now we should go for other it sorry this is what instead of you write too many then what you will do using at the rate bean para we can avoid too many query params or too many path params or too many matrix params earlier we use at the rate context other way of at the rate context is use this one now remove all don't write all don't write all at the rate bean param 
order bin that's it it is not only for only one group mixing of all what is mixing of all case 2 mix of all the params what is mix of all the params in the input what is mix of all it's not good to write all params at once in the input we'll see in the input we'll see order id may be coming from path para order id is coming from path para order name is coming from query this is coming from matrix this is coming from no whatever it other one okay, header it all depends how the URI structure HTTP colon and so how the URI structure HTTP colon localhost colon 80 and 80 slash rest slash orders but path para means it is coming in URI query para means it is coming in address matrix para means it is coming in the form of like this headers means it should not like URI it should come as a header if all this type is there even though mixing of all param also at the rate of bean param annotation would handle like this at the rate of bean param annotation will handle like this understood team see can review all can check once can check once if too many query params also we can add it using at the rate of bean too many query params also we can add using at the rate and at the rate of path means like you know mixing of all params and also mixing of same param mixing of all params and too many query params depends either one it is okay you can use it either one it is okay you can use it Any questions, team? Any questions, team? Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah, please. Hello. Sir, uh, can you go down to the bean param? Yeah. Here, uh, from the front end, we are uh, sending one form, right? Yeah. So, how the internal mechanism works, uh, how the mapping done to the bean, sir? Uh, here. Key, key, value pairs only. key value pairs only it will take internally as a map key value pairs where key is equal to this and value is equal to your uh, URI key value pairs only internally but instead of you will write code all this code all the values automatically will set to this bean now how to get the values from the bean string order id is equal to order bean dot get order id like that this bean value you are get oid not order ID. you can get it from this like this you can get the values from the bean okay so sir here uh, we have to use the same yes. types of right yeah yeah as in the get the no, type of the variable you have to use the same no, data type you have to use if it is string string yeah direct type if it is float float integer integer you have to write whatever it you have to write understood sir whatever it you can write okay 
means the data type in the bin class and the data type we are sending from the front end should be matching right yes it should match otherwise you will get an error okay. sir one of the interview one of my interview or asked how yeah. the mapping is done when you are using the bin yeah the bin definition should be same otherwise it will give error Thank you. Sir. You have to know. You should know, right? What? So everything will be available in the Swagger. That's based on the Swagger only. Your client will prepare that request and he will pass. So if the Swagger contract, Swagger is nothing but a contract between your consumer and provider. Your contractor Swagger is a contractor between your consumer and provider. As long as Contractor is good. It is good. Hope you understood what I'm trying to say. So now we'll see how to do this. Now we'll see how to do that. Now here see. Now I'm using all here. This one. Search main app. Index .html. If you understand this, nothing is there. How this HTML will work now? Here, see, ignore this first one. Order list, get method. We, wherever all get methods are there if you want you can write you can understand easy here here you can understand query using matrix using bean all are get resources why get resource? I will explain. So from the HTML, what are you trying to say? Your app.xml path is last rest. Your app.xml is with services. You want to prove? Your app.xml is your services slash services href slash get resource means for what you are this one slash one two three if you are not passing anything first method would be executed hello world if you pass one or one two three at the rate path param matrix means what you should pass matrix colon see how the matrix colon one colon name everything is colon target underscore blank means new tab new window it would open get session it will go for get session slash okay sub resource that also would be there slash see sub resource query string all our query string now bean bean parameter see mixing of path param mixing of query param i mean matrix param mixing of query param where it is b Go for here be user bin mixing of path mixing of matrix mixing of query see mixing of header see. user resource it is also get path param go for bean this is bean instead of you will write single one this bean would uh, 
give mixing of all the terms. Understood? So that's the reason I gave here bean resource, path param, matrix param, last query param. Same order. Same. Understood team. Any questions you can ask? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, when we send data through uh, get method, okay, yeah. sir. Yeah. Then uh, query param, uh, query string will be generated through the URL. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, when a matrix param generate, matrix param generate with the URL, in which hmm. case, sir? So this is also same. So you need to frame this URL in case of matrix now from form it should go for this one from the matrix use case you need to frame the uri customize browser will not give default browser will give default okay. is only form data okay. only for string path param and matrix browser won't generate we have to frame our own by angular or by JavaScript framework. Okay. Hope you're clear what I'm trying to say. Now, see, till now we are good. What the ready produces means slash get user slash list. Till now we are good. No next one. See. What is next one? What is post method? What is put method? What is delete method and you call this post method it will go where post here you have found data name you have only if you open your post from the farm name we are getting only name we are getting only name we are typing name slash services slash post resource slash services slash post resource if you pass the name using at the rate of form param trading this value and giving the value if it is put also would be same go for put example.html how to put the data using javascript and all no need to understand at this time delete go for delete how to pass the delete no need to so how to call services slash delete resources last one consumes how to consumes go for which resource it is calling slash post resource using form param with consuming using form param with consuming i mean get the data at the rate means it is used to read the data see okay, html you we are framing all this uris and we are testing how get is working how post is working and all now we'll see build path configure build path all are okay looks like run as we may installed if you understand one index.html all are hyperlinks when you click on hyperlinks it will take care remaining part when you click on hyperlinks it will take care remaining part sorry yes sir yeah copy go to here webapps paste it will take time Sir, internally they will provide servers, right? You mean to say, okay, embedded server? 
Yeah. That spring boot we'll see, sir. In spring boot, we'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah. To understand Spring Maven Boot, project, should, don't provide. Yeah, to understand Spring Boot, we should be strong on these use cases. That's why we are starting this. We'll yeah. start Spring Boot very soon. We'll start. Go to this uh, all params. See, if you click on get method. Hello world. Same first one URI it is. Slash get resource. If you click on next one, get only query param along with header params. These two are query params, it is a header param. If you click on Matrix param. See how the URI framing matrix param. If you click on sorry, yes, bean or some examples. Yeah, bean. See, bean means this is the path param. This is the matrix. This is the query param. It can be read everything. Understood. Now next one, at the rate produces means your response. Where your code is returning, your code is returning users, but who will convert this users to Java object? Who will convert your users to Java object? Who will convert this users to Jax B? Jax B has the okay, responsible to convert Java object to Jax B has the okay, responsible to convert Java object to XML and XML to Java object. Yeah, that is done. Understood. So how to do? Need to know this one. The next one, see. Okay, now yeah. next step. At the rate, post you are posting a name is Srinu. This name will be red. Hello, Srinu. This name would be red here. Hello, Srinu. So it will read automatically. Mm -hmm. So it would read automatically. Understood, sir? No. I understood, sir. If you go put, put means already the existing Srinu is there. Now we are changing to Venkat or Srinu tech. It is changing. Delete. How to delete? What name you want to delete? Srinu delete. Just for path parameter. If you are passing path parameter means it will read. Sir, it will, it will delete from here, sir. No, it is as of now. It is, it is in my just to okay hard code it. But in real time, it will go to your server. From there, it would be deleted. Database. Hmm. Understood. Understood. No. Consumes. Whatever you are giving. So these these many ways. All this indicates how to extract the data from the URI. Now we'll see next example how to how to get the post example is very very important. Post example is very very important. I will show you how this post example then we'll go for our post and json how to use we'll see post service see if it is post means compulsory what would happen one last point i forgot 
this one fifth point always path variable anywhere anywhere within the URI anywhere in URI whereas query means query params always at the end of the URI how to write one simple post service now public class let's assume that order service public get orders input is order request output is order response input is order request is okay output is order response also is okay now next one now next one so now please try to understand how to identify this is the resource at the red path slash order is okay here we have use business logic get the order request data send the request to data backend system and get the response so now now is it get or is it post one it is post one once it is a post what will do at the rate path slash at the rate path slash orders now at the rate produces application slash xml at the rate consumes application slash xml at the rate produces application slash xml at the rate consumes application slash xml okay now we are seeing the next one so you developed one rest api get the response and prepare the final response that means here beans are order request is the bean private string order id and the private string name now here we have setters and getters now here we have public class sir yeah. uh, we are using both produces and consumes uh... i will explain i will explain everything i will explain okay now private string status private string description Setters and getters. No, it's done now. Now next one. What happen? Your client, your consumer will pass HTTP colon, local host colon, slash, slash order, slash save orders or something. It is a URI. Your consumer will prepare the XML order request inside of the order request order ID. Order ID is 123. Order name mobile. I'm closing this order name. Now it is order request. Like that, your consumer will prepare the request object. Now we have URI. We have this information. So like that, like that your consumer will pass the request object. Your consumer will pass the XML request object to whom you are here. At provider end, some processors means jacks B. At provider end, some processors means jacks B. What this jacks B will do? Convert your request object into Java object. How? 
here this root element is this class name this order id element is this element order name element is this element name see your bean your xml should be map with your java bean your xml should be map with your java bean your xml should be map with the java bean how to map the java bean how to map the java bean so that's it so in during this process what happened you know during this process your xml data should be map with this java bean your xml data should be map with this java bean how to map root element root element this element this element name element name element that's it so internally jax b has the okay responsible jax b has the okay responsible to convert to convert xml to java object jax b has the okay responsible to convert java object to xml xml to java object so once you got the object you will be prepared this response and you will give so how your consumer knows this sample uh, how your consumer knows this sample request xml and all it should be in the form of swagger it should be in the form of swagger using this swagger documentation using this swagger documentation consumer has the responsible using this swagger documentation consumer will take care so to prepare this request xml format consumer should take care to prepare the request in this format understood team any questions on it so no what your provider will do your provider will process your request provider will okay, respond how to respond he will be always preparing the java object order response response is equal to sir yeah new order response yeah one second one second, one second. so what your provider will do let's assume that okay, response dot set status delivered now next one response dot set description description means good these two your consumer will prepare as a response at the provider end will prepared as a response at your provider end he will return and never he will return at provider end some processors will be there those processors means now here jacks b what your jacks b will do before you know sending this response to your consumer here who are there jacks b is there who are there this jacks b has the okay responsible jacks b has the okay responsible convert your convert your jacks b has the okay responsible convert your response object to xml order response this response is root element is this status good next element is description status is delivered something i'm closing this description go ahead with order response this response will go to your consumer if consumer is java guy consumer also will have jacks b is there if consumer is in Java guy, consumer and also Jax B is there. What this Jax B will do? Convert your XML to Java object. 
convert your XML to Java object. Convert your XML to Java object. How to convert and all, we'll see. Now, once you got the Java object here, you can easily look at response dot get order ID. Sorry, response dot get status. You can easily get it. Response dot get status get description. You can easily get it. Understood, team? This is the way how he can do it. Any questions you can ask me now. Any questions you can ask me now. Sir, how will produce and consume will work together, sir? Yes, produce is now consume is always for request representation. I told already it is always for request representation. How the request to data format it is. At the rate consumes is always request to data format. Request to representation. At the rate produce will always talk about response one. At the rate produce is always talk about response one. Sir, it, 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 its format will be in uh, XML then. JSON also you can use. I will explain. Response data format. Response representation. Response data format or response representation. Response data format or response representation. Understood? Response data format or response representation. Understood? Any questions? Understood? How to do? I will show you practically. No, next one. No, next one. See. Very, very important one. Okay, okay next one. Depends upon requirement. It's not only always for XML. I have you one REST API. This REST API may be order service or whatever it. I have you one REST API. This REST API, I have two consumers. One is consumer one, other one is consumer two. I have two consumers. One is consumer one, other one is consumer two. I have maybe three consumers also. Consumer one, consumer two, consumer three this guy is amazon this guy is ebay this guy is flipkart amazon guy is okay requirement is my request is request to format is xml response of format also is xml ebay will tell hey my request is in json my response also would be in json it is ebay what this flipkart guy will do let's assume that request is xml and response would be json please try to understand so this order service what you will do it should support both xml as well as json how can you tell here you need to write your code it should support both xml as well as json how to write here your code this one at the rate of produce is always response. At the rate of produce always will give response. So what you should give? Application slash XML. Comma. Application slash JSON. At the rate consume same application slash XML applications. How can Amazon will tell to this order this provider? Hey provider. This guy might be Yahoo guy or whatever it. Hey provider, how can you tell? How can you tell? Hey, this is I want this. How can you tell? Okay, how can you tell? So hey, uh, my Amazon request is this. No, my eBay request is this. My Flipkart request is this. There is a concept is called headers. What is the header is 
content type you are informing to your provider hey provider i am sharing my content type is called application slash xml you are going to inform same ebay hey ebay i am sharing my content is called application slash hey flipkart i am sharing my content it is called application slash xml content type is the predefined header which is used content type is the predefined headers which is used to pass the request pass the request which is used to what type of format you are sending request you need to inform to your provider provider will first read this header he will assume that okay i am getting a request to format is in the form of either xml i am getting a request to format is in the form of json this based on this content type this other it consumes will take care to convert xml to java object will take care to convert json to java object understood now it is this one is accept what is the accept accept is application slash xml i will accept only xml only here accept is application slash json i will accept only here json here you will be accepting here you will accept only here json see at the rate content type is used to request representation it is used to request representation what type of request you are what format of request you are sending accept means what format of response you are expecting what format of request you are sending what format of response you are expecting understood thing this is what how how you should do so this always this two see it is called content negotiation this concept is called content negotiation what kind of format you are expecting what type of format uh, you are expecting as a request and what format of response you are expecting is called content negotiation means hey provider can you please give me okay xml as a format to me i am sending xml i am accepting also okay xml you may provide multiple data formats but i need only for few like that you are requesting understood like that you are requesting how to requesting that concept negotiation if you go any shop then uh, you know shop owner will give price for 100 rupees your negotiation hey give me some 70 rupees or something similarly you are negotiating with this you are negotiating your data formats you are negotiating with uh, data formats how this data formats will be negotiating now we'll see parallelly okay now how it works now we'll see No, here see. This is order service, order request and order response. How the request classes, order ID and order name these two are okay request classes how the response one order status order status is the response now input is just order id order name header arguments is the card number header argument is the card number now how to handle exceptions i will explain this later but anyhow we'll see 
how to handle exceptions how to handle exceptions is jax rs is different how to handle exceptions in spring rest is different that will discuss spring rest also will discuss first you need to write one user defined exceptions write user defined exception how to write one user defined exception a class would be extends this one i don't want to write a class is okay extends either exception or okay, runtime exception a class should extend either okay exception or okay runtime exception a class should extend either okay exception or okay runtime exception so you are uh, setting so during constructor you are set this okay, exception message so it will be assigned to your okay, instance variable it will be assigned to your instance variable you can get the data you can how to get using get response code and get response message you can get this data also now oh, yes you write user defined exceptions now how to write this user defined exceptions so you can write user defined exceptions is like this now fine after that there is a one class is called exception handler okay, exception mapper this is given by who spring guys you know this is okay jack rs guys what you will do public class order service exception mapper it implements it is an interface it implements exception mapper it implements exception mapper what is your exception order service exception whenever this statement will be executed in your code wherever you are throwing your order service exception this handler has the responsible to catch that exception exception mapper is an interface it has only one method that method is a to response it has only one method that method is a to response what it will do you will read this one so whenever in your code you will throw any exception whenever you will code you can throw this exception after throws this exception what would do this exception handler has the responsible exception handler will throw this exception exception handler will handle this work exception and prepare the error response enter it into exception response that error response is a bad request response dot status bad request what is the error object here that is the error object so to handle user defined exceptions in in jax rs what are the things you will do step one write user defined exception step number two throws the user defined exceptions wherever is required once you will throws the user defined exceptions once you will throws the user defined exception using using exception handler it will catch that exception and prepare the error response send error response to consumer whether it is a success response or failure response whether it is a success response or failure response compulsory the response also should be in the form of either xml or json response also should be in the form of either xml or json see now how can i explain if it is a debt service i have a provider i have a consumer in web service doesn't matter it may be a soap it may be rest it may be a spring boot it is 
may be a micro services the concept is same your provider is shared this wsdl or swagger document to your consumer okay and consumer will prepare the request object is okay now your consumer will prepare the request object this request object will be converting into either xml or json this xml will go to where here your provider at provider end xml will be converting into object that object will give to your provider so please try to understand your provider will process the request your provider will give response the response may be success response or okay response may be a failure response if it is a success response you will give orders mm -hmm. hey you see you know you got the list of orders each and every orders may have order 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 we have a okay, list of order each and every order will have order id i am giving mm -hmm. list of orders and so on we have a number of orders are there we will take all these orders that's fine this is one in successful case yeah in case of error right ultimately whether success or failure we should give response in the form of xml or json to your consumer here what it will give orders error code mm -hmm. message maybe error code is triple one mm -hmm. or error message mm -hmm. no orders found something understood what i'm trying to say slash orders this is the way what you, you need to send so whether whether success or failure always your provider and you should take care of this do you understand what we're trying to say so yes sir if if it is a success provider and success response xml will be converting into java if it is in failure this error code will be displayed see other than the 200 will come there is some you know issues are there we need to fix those issues maybe in server end or those issues maybe a client end or how it is we have to know understood sir is it clear or any doubts clear sir yeah so same kind of use case in case of success your resource will return this object this object will be converting into either xml or json in case of error it will go to your exception handler this method will be executed whatever error code is there here that one will be displayed any questions team you can ask understood team or any questions you can ask if you open this error b we have response code and response message and user message we have three arguments are there any questions you can ask me hope you are good here yeah, hope everyone is good here is it clear team all yes sir yeah now good now next one now here see okay next one what is there here now now we'll see how to prepare this request run as mv install now refresh copy paste
go to this one. Now here what you will do? Your URI would be okay dot XML slash rest slash first orders. Slash info. Slash rest slash post orders slash info. Slash info. Now it is URI. I need to pass what header content type application slash XML. If you give application slash XML means you need to prepare XML. How the XML order request to type. What is here? Order ID. If it is Swagger, no need all this stuff. Using Swagger, we can take care of everything. I will show you Swagger name. Mobile. Name. Go ahead with order request to type. I'm closing. Now we'll see. We will get an error. I'm taking this URI. Content type headers. Application slash XML. Post. If you are not pass application.xml, what happened? I will explain. I will show you that also. Ravan. If you are not pass application.xml, see. 415. Unsupported media type. Means you are, if you are not setting anything default text will go default okay text is the default data format but here your code is expecting here your code is expecting what xml xml r but default what it is coming default it is coming as a json or uh, okay text if d default it will it would be coming as a text then it is the problem then it is the problem then it would give error what error what error error is 415 unsupported media type means you are sending text slash you are sending Text plain slash text, but here getting, but here getting, but here expecting, here expecting, but here expecting, here expecting, what here expecting, here expecting, XMLR JSON. That's why unsupported media type. That's why unsupported media type.
that's why unsupported media type how the unsupported media type now go to here now go to here now here see now here see unsupported media type see now if you pass this body it is xml only i am passing content type 400 bad request all are important 400 bad request Four hundred bad request means you are not sending properly. When you send this request, who will convert this XML to Java object? Who will convert this XML to Java object? Jaxb. I need to inform my Jaxb. Hey Jaxb, please tell me how to convert my XML to Java object. Here, here is the code jacks being context is equal to new instance your request class marceler how to convert your java object i am preparing java object i am giving to my jacks b jacks b will take care to convert java object into xml so this is the xml stuff if you pass the same as xml then your jacks b can understand easily if you pass this same as xml jacks b can understand easily jacks b can understand easily see how this the difference is only caps and small difference is only in caps and small it is order request to type now no. now you are sending who has prepared this jacks b has given this who has prepared this jacks b has given this this jacks b will take care take this xml convert this xml into java object once you got the java object here once you got the java object here whatever you got it from this java object you can read it whatever you got it from java object you can read it so how to read the value i will show you how to read this headers this card numbers also how to read okay, everything you can see if it is card number means you should pass headers how to read the value of this card number whatever your card number is there you can read it whatever your card number is there you can read it understood now go to here now go to here now click on submit now you are giving valid request still you are getting 401 uh, 400 means bad request why bad request card number and everything why it is getting bad request you are taking this request and we are using it order request to type what is the problem with this stuff now let's see Four hundred bad request. The server will not process the request due to something is perceived to be the client error. Request is syntax is wrong. We'll give this as a small. Four hundred bad request. Why it is bad request? So whatever Jacks B is 
preparing same request we are preparing You got the response. See, you got the response. See, whatever format you are going to give, same. See, you got the response now. Your provider has the responsible to prepare this, uh, you know. Uh, your consumer has a responsible by seeing the swagger documentation. He need to prepare the same. He need to prepare the same. Team, did you get it, team? So if it is JSON, how to give? Here, content type you should give as a JSON. If you are giving content type JSON, but you are passing XML means you will get an error. 500 internal server error. Server can't able to accept this five this okay XML. How to prepare the JSON? I will explain difference between XML, JSON, and I will explain. Go to here. See? Now still you are by default. If you are not specified anything default it will give xml only but i want response also is in the form of json what you will do accept application as json now instead of response xml you will get json see instead of response is xml now you will get json Team, did you understand what is this post use case? Did you understand, yes, team? In your real time, what happened? You know, your how this swagger guide, user guide, service user guide documentation. What is service description? What is the operation name? Service name means order service he is usually to get the list of order details or something. Operation name get orders. What is the URI? What is the HTTP method name? What is the URI? What is the accept header? What is the content type header? Everything in the swagger it should be there. What is the sample request? What is the sample response? Method name is post to here. Method name is post to here. URI. What is the URI? This is the URI. Everything you you need to specify inside of this swagger. What is the URI? What is the accept? What is the content type? application dot Excel. what is the sample request everything they will be prepared like this if it is xml xml if it is json everything should be prepared this is swagger i will explain still what is swagger See, even whatever you are expecting, everything should be in English format. You should 
prepare one documentation that documentation should be shared to whom your consumer that swagger document is a contract between your consumer and provider swagger documentation is a contract between consumer and provider if you give this documentation to your consumer if you give this documentation to your consumer anyone can able to understand it and they can uh, you know they will prepare the request object they will send the request object to your provider understood team or any questions you can ask what is accept accept means what response you will accept see your accept means your json i will accept xml means it will give okay xml as your response see what you are accepting response you are informing to your provider i will accept the response in the form of xml i will accept the response in the form of json hope you are clear team what i am trying to say yes sir content type is what request if you are not passing content type it will take default as a text but your provider is expecting content type is xml it will give 415 unsupported media type formed means a bad request you are not framing the your request is properly that's why your provider unable to read the even though format is correct but unable to read that format of data because of invalid data that's why 400 bad request remember industry is asking all these questions in interview industry is asking all these questions in interview you should be more strong on these questions 400 401 500 200 201 did you get a team hope you got understand or any questions team uh, yes uh, yes sir uh, one interview asked the question uh, mm. what is uh, payload in a rest api mm. payload means this one your body what is the, your request to body you are sending it is called a payload okay sir your request to data is called payload you, you need to tell my requirement is get the payload is not like post it is in get data will be coming in the form of uri that whatever input is input is payload if the data will be coming in the form of a body you should do tell our right sample structure of your body okay sir okay clear yes sir clear any questions team till now yes sir clear yeah now next one how to write the client code you need to take this one it is in get or it is a post it is a post you need to prepare your client code is there here it is a post i don't want all this stuff by seeing the documentation input is order id order name output is response code response you need to prepare these classes manually order id order name output is status and description now here is okay response code and response description output you need to prepare this manually private string what is my response code what is the output in json response code and response message go to your bean by seeing the swagger documentation you need to prepare this beans manually response code and response message hope you are good now how to write the client code Mm-hmm. 
rest template new rest template rest template dot post for object rest template dot post for object what is the post means here you got the URI it is the URI it is the URI the next one I need to prepare the request object Okay, now you are done. Okay, request also is done. What response you are expecting? Order response dot class. System dot out dot Gentile. Response is no. Right click on it. Run as Java application. What is the error? Let's see. Errors are important. 400. Null. It is saying bad request. It is saying bad request order id and order name it is saying bad request let's see we'll go with json how to add headers to your rest template how to add headers to post for object HTTP template add headers. HTTP entity. What is the request to data here? request headers how to pass these headers headers one second thing Yeah, let's see. Always errors will come. It is good to how to fix it. We are informing that content type also. You are informing your here content type is media type dot 
application slash json application slash json what is there are 400 null invoking error why 400 let's see you are passing accept yeah here you need to pass this entity now we should not get new error you will get it now no suitable message converter thank you madam no suitable message converters so no suitable means we need to inform we need to inform to no suitable means we need to inform to we need to inform to we need to inform to no suitable means we need to inform to our rest template hey rest template who will convert your java object into json means jackson who will convert this java object into json means jackson we need to inform we need to inform jackson how to do message converters how to add message converters message converters to rest template I know how to add set message converters. new array list message converters dot add of new add of new message converters dot add of new jackson new jackson json message converter class HTTP message converters Ma mapping Jackson to mapping Jackson to message converter. This class is used to, to convert your Java object into JSON during at runtime. This class is used to, to convert this class is used to to convert this java object into json json okay now so you are supplying to your rest template hey rest template while you are converting your java object into json please uh, you know convert this java object into json means this jackson class will take care and also what are the headers you want to get http entity HTTP entity will take care to provide both headers and your request to body that entity I am providing here. Let's see all I am providing.
now class not found exception you need to add this object to mapper class this jar dependency we should add code horse jackson object to map mapper it is not there jackson is not there yeah it is not there let's will add maven dependency I will explain next topic is JSON only very very important topic there you will be able to know why I have added and all now go to here run as Java application what happened next one is 400 if you are adding all these dependencies Why it is getting again 400? Entity, entity, how this entity will work? Response is now my request object is this convert request object into JSON. 400 bad request result in is 400 is null result in 400 is null how to do it result is 400 is null let me check instead of post for object rest template dot exchange i will use exchange let's see exchange both are same both are same okay exchange means you need to provide what are the urls and our method is it is uh, get method or post method okay you should give to all http method dot post post for object also internally calling okay exchange only no oh, here it is uri response entity entity this is order response order response now here you need to go for this whatever method is there response entity response entity order response entity response entity dot get body Entity dot get body. Let's see. What happened this? Why it is seeing 400 bad request? My data format is XML. 
it is also is json response json oh that is the problem got it got it see oh, what is my valid response if i pass proper valid request why it is giving card number and all everything is okay in my code open my code provider code card number if order id is null then only it should throw the exception if order id is not null if order id is null if order id is not null then why it is throwing exception order id is not null content type let's see we'll give xml order request type i got the response status is delivered this accept is json status is delivered now if it is if it is okay input is json why json data is not correct input is json Hundred bad request. Sorry, input is JSON. Why the JSON order ID is not coming? If I am pass this JSON, here order ID is not null. I don't know why order ID is coming as a null here. get order id is getting null it is entering into an exception go to here i will write one separate class it's a simple class i am going into right now okay i can show you this later but anyhow as of now I will start right of XML now. JSON is a big topic is there in after uh, one hour. Big topic in JSON. What I will use, I will use my model classes here. Whatever request and responses is there, I will use this model classes. Copy. In JAXRS client. paste it here i will use only these classes to build the request go for here please go to the mute if you are not talking what is the response This is my response class. 
this is my response class. If all are okay. No, it is order request to class. Order response means no done. Now we'll see run as MV installed. So now what is happening? Let's see, I would go for both XML. XML. New Jack speed. No run as Java application. Why it is taking this much of time? In install run as Java application. it is not coming <clears throat> from the client what are the things are there spring client java application you are preparing for the request <clears throat> you are preparing for the request you are informing that if it is XML, you need to add this converter. JAXB will take care to convert this Java object into XML. If it is Java, if it is JSON, you need to write JAXON. That's fine. Request. At least it should give what is going on. Surrounding with try catch, print track trace. Card number is null. I got the okay response object good. I got the okay response object is good. Now, once you got the okay response object, what you will do? Response dot. So I got the okay response object. Good. You need to extract the response. Yeah, yeah. Order response type. Response is equal to response entity dot get body. 
system dot out dot to print ln status is response dot get status see i got this delivered i got this delivered that's it see i got it or not so just nothing what i am doing here the rest of template i am adding headers content type and all how to give your okay exchange means okay entity okay entity will hold the both request to payload and also headers request to payload and also headers if you are using okay exchange what uri what http method what is entity entity means both you uri so, sorry both request to payload and headers it is your okay response what response you are expecting that response is hold by this okay response entity earlier we have practiced get for object very very important when we should go for in rest to template we have if it is get two methods get for object get for entity if it is post two methods post for object post for entity two methods so on so on every http method every http method we will have two methods http method for object http method for entity but and i should go for object and i should go for entity entity me object means if you want only response payload only response data go for entity if you want only response payload go for here if you want only response pay payload along with response payload i want response payload plus i want response status codes plus i want okay response payload plus okay response headers then you should go for this one can i should go for okay exchange exchange will support both will support you can pass anything any entity cover response this always will provide response payload plus status code plus okay response headers this always will provide response payload plus status code plus okay response headers understood team this is what how it happens this is what how it happens so here also same response payload means it got response payload plus status code plus response headers all response payload means only body na no? yeah body only body Okay. only body so for your understanding response body 
plus understood is it clear so yes every every http method will have two methods one is get for object get for entity post for object post for entity so if you want to prove we can see see get for entity get for object post for entity post for object here we have different overloaded methods are there that is different but and i should go for get for object when i should go for get for entity get for object means always it will give only response body get for entity means along with the response body it would give status code it will give a response headers all you will get it all you will get it all you will get it hope you are clear team or any questions are you clear team this is way how to call now very very important topic we are going to see what is jackson very very important topic we are going to see team are we good but did you understand this post example how to write the yes. provider code of post how to write the consumer code of post okay did you write it team yes sir. yes sir this is yeah. a new break sir oh is it yeah okay we'll take not a problem did you understand post example now please come up with a fresh mind it is next topic is very very important where entire market is using json 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 what is importance of this json it is very very important please please you know ready with uh, uh, you know with the fresh minds now time is 11:50 please come by 12 okay good okay. take 10 minutes break till come is it okay team okay, everyone yeah please come this conference will now be recorded so json json topics json topic one is introduction another one is software installation one is introduction another one is software installation json one is introduction another one is json software installation other one is json serialization jackson json serialize serialization and deserialization json serialization and deserialization now next one json annotations next one is json real time example scenario real time example scenario json real time example scenario now first one what we should say
zero nine slash notes dot txt. No first one introduction. 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 JSON stands for JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It is derived from JavaScript, but not dependent on JavaScript. Sir, what it is Jackson? I will explain, sir. I will explain. Give me some time. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It is derived from javascript but not dependent on javascript it is derived from javascript but not dependent on javascript but not dependent on javascript it is derived from javascript but not dependent on javascript json is lightweight what is lightweight i will explain later and json is human readable text json is lightweight and json is human readable text json is lightweight and json is human readable text json is lightweight and json is human readable text human readable text json is lightweight and json is human readable text human readable text human readable text okay next one json mime type is application slash json json mime type is application slash json json file name extension with dot json json file name extension with dot json json file name extension with dot json it is introduction now next one see okay next one it is introduction okay, next one one of the topic is json data types json data types that will explain later now one of the topic is JSON data types that also we will discuss later. Now, next one. In web services world, in web services world, I have a consumer. I have a provider in web services world. Always the two entities are there. One is consumer. Another one is provider in web services world always two entities are there one is consumer another one is provider now let's see provider will share the json user guide provider will share the service user guide by seeing that user guide here i would say user guide is swagger in so based json would not support that's why here user guide is swagger 
by seeing that user guide so your consumer will prepare the request object will consumer will prepare the request object by seeing that user guide consumer will prepare the request object at consumer end some processors are there those processors convert your request object into json convert your request object into json what are those processor who are those processors means jackson jackson is the okay, responsible to convert your java object into json your rest template internally will use this jackson to convert your java object into json go to this jackson this json will go to your provider at provider end if you are the java J jackson is there if you are the dot net dot net equivalent of jackson framework is there every technology is their own frameworks are there to convert json to their technologies objects here we have json at provider end okay remember if your provider is java jackson is there if your provider is dot net dot net related frameworks also will be there to convert json to dot net object every technology is their own frameworks are there to convert java object to their technologies object here here what is there here you have jackson here you have jackson this jackson has the okay responsible to convert your json to your original request object json to original request object that original request object will go to where your provider that's it your provider will process the request your provider will process the request and the provider will give response to whom consumer provider will give book okay, instead of request object here what your provider will prepare a okay, response object at provider and if the provider is java jackson is there this jackson has the okay, responsibility to convert your java object into json give this okay, response object to, to your consumer what is happening here you are again this okay, response json jackson will take care to convert response to java object here i am not writing response object here it is the request to flow and other one is the response flow understood team that's it this is the way how the role of this jackson okay the process of java object now we are seeing it is so jackson jackson is jackson jackson is the is the api api is used to is used to convert java object to json and json to java object understood now next one how it will be convert and all i will explain how it will be convert java object into json i will explain practically no next one now here now okay, okay next one to json syntax json data is always in the form of key value pair json data is always in the curly braces json data is always in curly braces json data is always in the form of key value pair json data is always in curly braces is always in curly braces now okay, example 
example sorry first is syntax key one colon value one key two colon value two key three colon value three sometimes your structure is like this sometimes same syntax only for more uh, json format for more uh, readable understandable maintainable we are giving like this every key value pair in new line now here see example how this example example is order id one two three order name mobile mobile is delivered true is delivered the description where there is no description for this order id so if you observe this in json always if you observe this this is a number this is a string this is a boolean this is a null data type in json key is always string in key is always string but values may be number string boolean null objects comma array what is array no. what is object i will explain in json key is always string but values would be in json key is always string values may be a number string boolean null object array number string boolean boolean means true or false boolean means true or false in the bracket null object array object array object array object array now here see very very important how this object array now we'll see now here see how how this one will be executed number string boolean true or false null object array now here see example two orders second example orders inside of this order we have a number of orders how to represent an orders we have so many objects it is first object if it is it is a okay, second object it is third objects now here see one two three four five six seven eight nine mobile and book whatever it pen whatever it now now here see these are the orders okay now see always in json json data always within curly braces json array data json array data always within square brackets that is json array also is an object json array is an object now json array is a one of the value json array is open of the value understood team so key is always string no doubt about this 
<coughs> and value is maybe a string maybe a number maybe a true or false null values object or null values object or null values object or understood team now now here see now this is about json syntax and data types how the jackson jackson software installant installation jackson is an open source software it is in the form of jar file so add jackson dependencies in pom.xml so that we can access all the classes from that jar all the classes of jackson jar now jackson will have two versions jackson has 1.x comma 2.x versions spring legacy versions legacy versions till 3.x should support jackson 1.x whereas whereas from spring 4.x onwards it should support jackson 2.x version jackson 2.x version understood hope anything team now how to enable go to google mm -hmm. go to google jackson Jackson Maven dependencies. Jackson Maven dependencies. Jackson Core, Jackson Data Bind, whatever you want. Either version you can use. Jackson Core or Jackson Data Bind. You need to add these dependencies. How to add? Now we will show you practically. Don't worry. We will show you first some POCs, then we'll see how to, uh, you know, convert this Java object into JSON and JSON to Java object. Now we'll see that one. Okay. Now done. Okay. Next one. See, it is how to enable this Jackson. Okay. Next one. JSON serialization. The process of the process of converting java object to json is called json serialization json serialization that means for every request in art consumer end java object will be converting to json that is here serialization json serialization would happen for every response at consumer end at provider end json would be converting to at for every response for every response at provider end your java object means java response object would be converting into json that is json serialization would happen for every request the process of converting java object into json json will go to your provider provider end json 
you know, uh, converting JSON to Java object and provider and what happened? He will do, he will do uh, process the request. He will send the response object. That response object would be converting into JSON. Now, okay, next one. See how to convert. How to convert? Now I will show you first to pseudo code. I have a public class order request private string order id private string name private string description private boolean boolean delivered So if you do this, what would happen? How to convert in Jackson is the predefined class. Jackson mapper. This mapper class is coming from Jackson jar. Jackson mapper mapper is equal to new Jackson mapper. Object to ma object to mapper mapper is equal to new object to mapper. This object to mapper is the predefined class which is available in Jackson jar. Object to mapper two things. One is write value. Mapper dot write value. Java object to do in JSON. This object to mapper it is. We need to know these values. Java object to JSON. If you want to write this in JSON as a file, so you need to give here. What is your Java object? I will explain. What file name? Where you want to write it? You want to write it file name? You can. You want to write as a string? I will explain. So the processing of convert Java object into JSON is called how to write, where to write, write value method is used to mapper dot write value method is used to convert your java object into json how to prepare your java object i will show you practically all this stuff don't worry how to prepare this java object order request request is equal new order request Order request request is equal to new order request. Request to dot set order ID. Request to dot set order ID. Order ID is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Request to dot set name. Name is equal to mobile. Request dot set description. Good. Request dot set is delivered. So object to mapper mapper is equal to new object to mapper. So you are going to give. request objective this object mapper will take care to convert this java object into json either it should be right into file or it should be right into string write value as a string or you want to place into file it can also be placed into file it can be also placed into file it's all depends it's all depends understood team how it happens i will show you practically i will show you practically this don't worry what is the output here 
always json data should be enclosed with this braces what is the json bean your java yeah. object bean your java object bean your java object your java class parameters java class properties is a json key name very very important it is you these these things will be okay, helpful to debugging if any issues are there during your project development if any issues are there you will be okay working on your web services model so always from your consumer or postman you are trying into hit your service you will get the errors are called json serialized exception unable to convert json to java object json serialized exception okay see at that time you should be able to know see what is this key values here important name name is equal to mobile now okay next one what is description always this json key java object to properties is java object to properties is json keys is delivered is delivered is delivered is a boolean is true I can write still complex objects in our project, you know, in our more example, we will see. So note while converting, while converting Java object to JSON, Jackson, Jackson API will consider as will consider java bean properties bean properties as json keys that is java bean property names is equal to json keys understood <clears throat> value means while you are doing this value no, okay, value means well, what value you are setting right, this value will come. Mm -hmm. What value if it is number, number here, if it is string, here string will come. What values you are, it all depends. If it is number, number, if it is string, string, it would come. While well, converting Java object into JSON jackson api will consider java bean properties as json keys that is java bean property names is equal to json key next topic is what is json deserialization the process of yeah to the java process of, yeah converting Convert. JSON, JSON to Java, Java. Java. JSON to Java is called JSON serialization. Uh -huh. Is called uh -huh. JSON deserialization. The process of converting Java object to JSON to Java object is called JSON deserialization okay very very important this one no next one what is next one here see how to convert this json to java object i have a simple json order dot json order dot json how to convert my json to java object here input is my json how to convert my json to java object so where this json deserialize will be helpful for every request provider end json to java object that is json deserialization would be happened For every response consumer end for every response consumer end 
json to java object that is json serialized deserialized would be happened at consumer end that means if you go this diagram in the request to flow json to java object java object to json here you got the json serialization in the request flow in the response flow java object to json while you are converting response flow reverse it is your request flow at consumer end request flow it is response flow what happened json serialization in response while you are returning response so this in request flow consumer and serialization in request flow provider and deserialization converting json to java object in request flow provider and it is deserialization provider and it would be deserialization request flow provider and it would be json deserialization request flow in json deserialization oh understood oh. So in, yes, re in, re in response also actor responsibility na sir serialize and deserialize it is responsibility of the sir serialize uh, yeah. object <laughs> in json and json into object it is responsibility of jackson yeah. na, sir yes yes yeah. okay everything is jackson in response flow again this json to convert response java object response java object here in response flow json deserialization for every request pro consumer and deserialization will be happen provider and deserialization will be happen for every response provider and deserialization will be happen consumer and deserialization will be happen note for every request consumer and json serialize provider and json deserialize for every response who will give response provider right provider and json serialize consumer and json Deserialization. Hope it is clear. Sir. Understood team. Oh. Are you clear everything? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. How yes, it sir. happens. How it happens? Now we'll see. How it happens? Now we'll see. Here I have a JSON. How to convert object mapper mapper? Here read value. Here read value. <clears throat> object mapper dot read value here read value means you should give json you should give json it will give java object how it will give java object where it will give now we'll see all this stuff read value is the method give your 
ऐसा जेसन फाइल टू जावा ऑब्जेक्ट JSON file to Java object. Read your URL. URL means I will place this JSON from my Sinotech website. Sinotech.com slash API slash. So from this remote URI, I want to convert where the location of this JSON, that location. You have to provide so that the location may be in your local file, location may be in your remote URL, location may be a normal string also. String, string means I would give all this. String means I, I would give all here. Order name. Mobiles. So how to convert JSON string to Java object? Okay, understood. This is called see how to convert this object mapper is a class. Object mapper will have two methods one is write value another one is read value write value is the method is used to to convert java object into json read value is the method it is used to to convert json to java object i will show you practically all this stuff to convert java object into json now see while we are doing json serialization and deserialization if we want custom if we want custom if we want custom or our own json data our own json formats then we should go for jackson annotations what are the jackson annotations what is the use of these annotations i will explain what are the jackson annotations one is at the rate JSON property. Another one is at the rate JSON JSON property. Another one is at the rate JSON ignore at the rate J JSON ignore properties at the rate JSON ignore type at the rate json include at the rate json setter at the rate json getter at the rate json property order At the rate JSON serialization. At the rate JSON deserialize. And so on, so many annotations we would use. JSON include, JSON property order, JSON root name. json property order so many annotations so many annotations how to use where to use annotations we we'll use how to use where to use annotations we we'll use all these annotations are available from 
all these available from java com dot faster xml dot jackson dot star package so what is the use of this all the annotations now we'll see we'll see practically what is the use of all these annotations now we'll see practically what is the use of json property json ignore json ignore properties json ignore type json ignore include json setter getter property order now we'll see all these annotations are a very very important annotations we will be using during this our project development understood hope you are clear everything any questions team all these notations are used in uh, real time yes 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 we should use real time that we will explain now with where to use how to use we will explain now and it is asked in interview sir sorry it is asked in interview yes 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 it would be asked that i will explain all now okay sir okay that i will explain all now how to use where to use when to use i will explain this now we are seeing the next one now i will show you all these annotations practically i will show you this one so we are seeing json annotations also we'll see what are the annotations where we should use these annotations now we'll see json property json ignore all these annotations now would we'll see practical done okay next one the next one see what is the if already xml is there xml versus json xml is an lightweight okay xml is an heavyweight and whereas json is a lightweight that means that means to write an xml for every xml you have start element end element is required what is mean by okay heavy it means for every xml there should be start element comma end element is mandatory whereas json is not required whereas json it's not required whereas json it's not required xml is an heavyweight for every xml there should be a start element end element is mandatory whereas json is not required whereas json is not required that means so if you go for order we'll take order id here is only one element it's fine name oh boy name so like that you should there are hundreds of elements are there there are hundreds of elements are there also xml is a lengthy sir if you want to make area yeah, of yeah order. if it is just on that yeah no i am taking i am comparing one simple example name is mobile name is mobile so just to for simple here only one simple element if you take hundreds of no it, there is a big complex use case is there if xml data is of thousand lines means json is max of 600 lines when compared to xml size json size is always lightweight when compared to xml size json size is always lightweight that's why always recommended we should go for json now number two xml is very uh, uh, uh complicated to write yes yes now writing is different okay, writing is uh, different but the thing is uh, no during transferring via network also if the xml data is heavy load it is taking more time to transfer the data via network see 
data drivers okay okay as okay xml data will be more size than json data it would take more time to traverse it will take more time to traverse in network understood team so because it's not easy to to traverse this payload via network right it will take so much of time as long as the size is more so here you have a network here so for every request it will take so much of time to transfer via network the third one to parse to parse or read the xml document compulsory we need ported point DOM. Yeah. we need dom objects or we need jaxb is required whereas to parse or read json document then no need jacks br this browsers browsers will take care will take care to parse json data if required we'll use jackson jackson for if the client is java okay will require jackson if required will use jackson to to parse json it easy sir because it's convert into a javascript object and javascript object yeah are readable yeah, by many client. object yeah yes yes that is the thing okay now next one now here so that's why so for all where to use json it is a big big one it's not if it is okay public places you now for to get the public data like uh, google maps whatsapp messages whatsapp charts no okay and so on use use json only if it is xml right okay it's a big heavy data it would be the problem to parse the json data whereas uh, you know it would be the problem to parse the xml data if it is json it is easy so even okay okay public data take one use case what is the use case like books so if you go for books right i will show you this go to amazon.com so you are trying to give some books you are trying to give some books how many books are there you have we will give your uh, web services books how many web services books is there one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And there are many books. Yeah. Let's assume that here twenty books. One pagination. Each book. Each book. What are the properties? each book properties like book id uh -huh. who is the book Writer. name uh -huh. what is the publisher author author publisher who are the, who are the publisher number of pages number of pages price what is the price and uh, his stock is there or not uh -huh. Mm -hmm. if any discounts are there mm -hmm. next book url mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. Now, how many are there? So, take any one of the book book title. Mm -hmm. Title. Mm -hmm. Book date. Okay. Publisher date. In mm -hmm. this book card date. Mm -hmm. Author is done. Mm -hmm. Book price. If any offers are there with this, so many, right? Mm -hmm. Let's assume that, like, you know, 20 are there. Mm -hmm. If 20 books means 20 multiplied by 20, 400. If it is XML, means 800 elements. JSON means simple. This, all the data we are, it is, you know, okay, okay public data. We are going into UC. This is a core string. Mm -hmm. Initial or query string i means strip books reference mm -hmm. so all we are using query string using query string we are fed to the data from the backend systems if it is xml so much of stuff you need to prepare huge elements if it is xml mm -hmm. you need to parse no definitely browser can't able to parse by default from browser end, you need to write one separate DOM code or something. Whereas if it is Angular, our browser will take care by default, parse it. So what we are going to do, I will show you these examples practically. I am taking one books here. It is an array. Inside of the array, so many elements are there. We'll add all this one here. Hope you are able to understand what I'm trying to say. So, how many 20 are there? Oh, oh, oh. We'll, we'll take care. Every object is a one book. Every object is a one book like that. We take care list of the objects. And so on. I'm closing the array. I'm closing this books. How many are there? We can get it all and so on. That's it. If it is XML, right? It would take so much of time. It would take so much of time. This real time example use case we are going to see. We'll start practicals of JSON serialize, deserialize. What are the problems in JSON? Mm -hmm. Now, what are the how this uh, JSON annotations will use? What are the real time example? We'll see all the practicals now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we'll see. I'm going to take one one class, JSON POC something one Maven project. Maven project. Create simple project. Com dot Tech JSON examples. <clears throat> this is JSON examples. Now here see. First I need to add my Jackson dependency in my palm.xml. I need to add Jackson dependency in my palm.xml. I need to add Jackson dependency in my palm.xml. How to use? I need to add Jackson dependency in my palm.xml. Now here see. Now first step. First step. Yeah. Add Jackson dependency in form.xml. In form.xml. I need to add 
i mm. think jackson dependency is only you know it will bring automatically jackson core and jackson annotations let's see mm -hmm. let's see it will bring what are the stuff dependency hierarchy see jackson binding is bringing both jackson core and jackson annotations you no need to write to okay, separate again you will write jackson binding this jackson binding is bringing these two jackson annotation and this one okay now done okay. it is poc how it would work means we'll see it is poc how it could work now we'll see first one i am taking one simple model class what is simple model class i am taking how to write the coding and all we'll see i am taking customer class account class this three classes i am taking now see We need, I am taking these classes, sir. Model classes. Com dot. Sinu tepo dot model. Com dot Sinu tepo dot model. account also will give same package that see it is my model classes I don't want to give this serialize and all we'll see that later i don't want to use all the annotations at the time just to my plain pozo classes i don't want to use all none of the json annotations you know see no see just i'm adding Jackson dependency in my pom.xml just to overview what is Jackson and all we are explaining in depth theory is done now we are able to see the practical stuff of this JSON now see it is my account class account class what are we have balance account number account number and balance balance and account number customer class how the customer class is there customer first name last name mobile number address orders customer may have orders customer may have address all so these days market is crazy using this lambok let's see here lambok will work or not market is crazy using this lambok Lambok, now we'll see. Separate data. Yeah, it should work. In Eclipse, it should work, I believe. Okay, anyhow, we'll see. Later, we'll see Lambok. Okay. Not work, I no, sir. <laughs> no, no, okay, it should work. Now, in Eclipse, see how to add this Lambok. Lambok dependency. Maven dependency. It should work. No need to worry. Adding Lambo to your palm. See, 
sir what will it do lambo lambo huh? i will explain now if you use lambo right you no need to write all this setters and getters manually and two strings also you don't need to write manually what this lambo will do at the rate data is enough if, if you want raw means at the rate setter means it will generate setter at the rate getter it will generate getter at the rate two string it will give two string at the rate uh, equals and hash code it will give instead of writing all this you will give data data is a combination of all no. c equivalent to two at the rate getter setter argument constructor two string equal and hash code everything it will give okay. understood now what is the proof whether it is working this lambo or not class com dot cnotech json serialize serialize demo just one simple order new order order dot see here is lambo is working see have you written anywhere uh, see go for order or go oh, here we have, we have setter now we'll see for customer See, here is Lambo working or not. So oh. customer dot set means Lambo key is okay generating here. Here also, instead of writing all these orders, go ahead and declaring as at the rate of date. Yeah. Sir, it generate a parameterized constructor also, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it is required, we'll use it for every parameter. Also, it should have uh, default constructor. Also, it would be there, right? If it is required, we will use. If it is not required, you can remove it. Understood. Now done. Data is done. Customer is done. Order is done. Done. Now. Yes, sir. Serialization demo. I need to prepare JSON serialize. How it will do? first one is i need to prepare my customer object mm -hmm. see customer dot customer new customer but to prepare the customer object i need what object is required list of order objects are required and oh. account object is required First, okay. what I should do? Orders. Orders list is equal to new array list of. That means you need to prepare list of orders. Order one. New. Order, order one dot set order id order one dot set name mobile order one dot set type electronics or whatever it no why it is error it might be an integer 
take as a number so obviously we have list of orders is they right better to add two three orders it would be good for us how to change alt shift r if you change one reference it will change all how to change reference alt shift r now now here see order list dot add order one order two list dot add order two list okay. dot add order three order three done so okay. what this customer have set of orders done now next one what customer is required account okay. new account how to give this account to dot set account number what okay. about account to dot set balance 1 lakh balance done no mm -hmm. done why it is balanced maybe it is a float or balance check. also double that hmm? now how to set here customer object need account object account object i got the account object that is also done now customer object need account object i got account object also done the next one next one next one what i want i want this is simple one customer dot uh, first name srinu customer dot last name srinu tech no next one customer dot mobile number customer dot email id address or whatever it you can give so address here it is a list new array list address dot add off sir nagar Address dot add off Hyderabad something. Amir paid. Okay, that's it. Done. List done. Now, if you want to add so many things, you can add here. The customer may have date of birth, private string, DOB. Customer may have private string, email ID. Okay. Now you, you may have a number of things, private string, whatever you want, date of birth, email ID, and its title, Mr. or Miss or whatever it. We can add all, whatever you want, we can add all. So I am preparing this customer object. so after this you can add so many th things you can add how to add so many things you can add it's not a problem mobile number is done title is mr
email id date of birth you can give anything something done okay now done all are done now i have java object is ready how to convert my java object into json jackson guy has a given predefined classes convert java object to json how to do object mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper mapper dot write value as a string or write value as a file whatever you want you are passing this here string string json system dot root dot print ln json it's your wish okay now we'll see now you got the json data or not yes write value as a string you can so many ways you can do one is one is i want to write into file see so many write value you want to write into file you want to write into string you want to write into what write value as a bytes write value where you want i want to file new file here is your file location create one empty new file Enter. What do you want? Java dot Ivo dot file. Now if I run the application, this object mapper class will take care. Write value, it will write convert Java object to JSON to file. Java object to JSON as in JSON as file here. Convert Java object to JSON as string. Now run as Java application. See, it is my JSON data. But I want JSON format. I don't want this straight text. How to do? See, here also it will get. See. Here format means control shift F. You got the but how I will get it in console mapper dot. There is a one writer with default to pretty writer. If you give this even console also you got string see console also you got this language json see 
your Java object is converting into JSON. For every request, you are writing REST template is equal to new REST template preparing Java object, right? REST template internally will write this kind of code <coughs> to convert your Java object into JSON. REST template internally will write to convert this Java object into JSON. Understood? Some examples. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Your REST template internally will write this code to convert yes, your sir. Java object into JSON. Up to here clear? Now. Now it's good now. So now my good, my you know how to use so in in real time here i am using customer in real time here products in real time here orders in, re, in real time here uh, offers in real time data might be different but concept is same try to understand the concept concept yes sir. okay try to understand the concept here now how to convert this json to java object but still annotations is there okay i will explain annotations i will explain annotations class json deserialize what this deserialize would do mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper mapper dot read value where you want read value here new file you want read read your json file into java object what is your java object customer dot class As we discussed, we have so many use cases. As we discussed, how, how many ways we can read. One is object. Object means order object. Another one is read from file. Another one is you can pass directly your JSON data. It all depends. How can I prove here I am able to get the data or not? System dot out dot println customer object is oh, now customer will have account account object is customer dot get account account dot get account number account number is like that you can read once you got the json you can read whatever you want you can read whatever you want customer dot get email id customer email id see whenever you are it is a process while sending your object to your provider at consumer end, your Java object will be converting into JSON. That JSON is this one. This JSON will be transferred to your provider at provider end. Your provider end also you have Jackson is there. That Jackson internally write the code like this. It will read the JSON from other end produces me. Other end consumes means it will internally it will 
you know write the code is this it will read the json it will convert the json into your java object of once you got the java object you can read the values from the java object to whatever you want for every request consumer end consumer end your your you know your java object will be converting into json it is called json serialization for a very request at provider end json will be converting into java object it is called deserialization no if i run this application see i got all the data or not first one is customer object customer object include all data first name last name orders data how many order order objects we have three order objects we have all these three order objects data it is there i have accounts also everything we have account object account number only account number customer email id i got it everything or not everything i got it. see here how far we good what is json serialization and deserialization team yes sir a mapper read value internally is used reflection api not to yes 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 class. internally it will be using okay reflections apis only is it clear team yes sir clear yeah okay that's fine now so now what we'll do now very very important topic annotations that's fine you are reading data you got json that's fine now where is the annotations is coming into the picture with where is the annotations will come you did a poc is called how to do json serialize and how to do json serialize good but where is the annotations here what is the scope of annotations here the scope of annotations are very very important now is it okay team are we clear are any questions now now we'll start annotations are we clear team or any questions now no question sir okay then now we'll start what is json annotations so this this is my response if your client requirement is like this what you should do if your client requirement is like this what you should do so you should go your coding what you will do you have to change your beans right your beans are first underscore beans are l underscore your beans are email underscore like that you need to change your code right if you change your code what happened you need to change all the places right wherever the places are there wherever places are there all the places you need to change your setters and getters it is a rework it is a rework if you want to change in the middle again again you will give this change it's not like good practice every time to modify your code okay instead of modifying your code what is the option okay i don't want to modify my code i don't want to my modified the code without modifying your code how to do it without modifying your code how to do it means i will not disturb this one what i will do <clears throat> at the rate json property whatever you want f underscore name at runtime while converting your json to java object what it would be happened here you know this json properties will override json property will override this one json property will override this one first name last name 
అండ్ ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి లాస్ట్ నేమ్ అండ్ ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి సో లైక్ దట్ యూనో వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ హ్యావ్ సి దిస్ అ ట్రంట్ ఐఎమ్ దిస్ ఫీల్స్ విల్ ఓవర్ రైడ్ బై దిస్ నేమ్ దిస్ ఫీల్స్ విల్ ఓవర్ రైడ్ బై దిస్ నేమ్ దిస్ ఫీల్స్ విల్ ఓవర్ రైడ్ బై దిస్ నేమ్ దట్స్ ఇట్ దట్స్ ఇట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద వే హౌ హౌ వీ షుడ్ డూ దట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద వే హౌ వీ షుడ్ డూ దట్ సో నో వాట్ వుడ్ డూ హియర్ in this approach now see if i run the application at runtime json property is used see json properties is used at runtime <laughs> json property is used to see f underscore name fill underscore name email underscore id at runtime these properties would be happened like this understood or not so json annotation is at the rate json property it is used to set the to set the custom keys custom keys to the json data json data while while do the while do while while doing the serialization while doing the json serialization like in okay. question sir that means if Follow. you provide like this sorry sorry like so what it will do column columns yeah at run time yeah at run time at run time at run time f name f name will be will be override override f name will be override with f underscore name that means that is in json you will get a f underscore name is equal to whatever name srinu or whatever you will get it screen or whatever you will get it understood team at run time you will get at run time you will get so at run time f name will be override at run time f name will be override f name will be override with f underscore name that is f underscore name is equal to screen or f underscore name is equal to screen okay now next one f underscore name is equal to stream next one so i want order so now i got okay different order what is the different order f underscore name l underscore name email underscore i got okay different order now i want proper order how to give this proper order at the rate json property order what you want what order you want you want first you want account i want next i want orders i want okay different order so no problem it will give first i want account next i want orders next i want string whatever order you will give in this order only it will come whatever order you will give in this order only it will come so if i run the application run as if i run the application run as java application see whatever order see first account next orders next address depends upon what order you give here that order you will get it so json order is used to, to while displaying the json data so you can give order json order json property order
it is used to display the JSON keys in specified order in specified order it is used to display the JSON keys in specified order it is used to display the JSON keys in specified order JSON keys in specified order specified order okay understood team okay next one what is next one no next one so that means whatever order you are going to give while displaying the order while displaying the json in this order only the data will come okay example example so it will display the order like in json it will display the order first order so account account only will come next order orders only will come first order accounts next order orders only will come next order next it should come address address so like that whatever order you give that order only we are trying to do that order only we are trying to do that's it okay understood team this is the way how how you will do it <coughs> yeah now next one what is the json ignore while doing json serialization i want to ignore this title json ignore ignore that element at the rate json ignore means during your serialization ignore the ignore the ignore the specified property ignore the specified property now go to here run your json serialization ignore the specified properties see now you'll see did you get any title here now no no title here you can verify it no title here address a id there first name last name will come no title is there i want to ignore the object i want to ignore the complete account object how to ignore json json ignore it like transient no json ignore type type means to ignore the object to ignore the object only ignore means ignore the property json ignore means ignore the ignore the object ignore the per object so if you run now see if you run now see run as you can ignore not sir. yeah see there is no account there is no account there is no account so it depends upon the requirement you should add you should add there is no account now like that you know we have there are many annotations okay depends upon the requirement you should use all the annotations okay, next one ignore the we have seen we have seen we have seen annotations like json ignore setters you, you can't use because it is not manual setters it is taken care by lambok means we should not use we have seen property we have seen ignore we have seen ignore properties ignore properties means if you want to ignore more than one ignore properties means if you want to ignore more than one so earlier earlier you are ignoring only for title no if you want to ignore more than once at the rate json ignore properties you can ignore first name you can ignore last name depends what are the name you want you can ignore go to here run as 
Jawab. See, you, you have first name and last name is there, but I think you should have F underscore name. You should have L underscore name. Run as Java application. See, you don't have any first name and last name. You don't have any first name and last name. You don't have any first name and last name. You don't have any first name and last name. Hope you are clear, team. Hope you are clear, team. Here we are clear. Everything is done. So we have seen different annotations. We have seen different annotations here. JSON property, JSON ignore, ignore properties, ignore type. What is include? What is include? JSON property order also we have seen. Now what is JSON include means? My client would tell, I'm removing this. My client would tell, what is my client will tell? Hey, Srinu, so it is my JSON data. During my JSON data, while preparing the object, assume that this title would be null. Here is title would be null. Email is would be null. So let's see, try to understand. So if it is, you are not setting anything means those values will come as a null. If you are not setting anything means those values would be coming as a null. What are the values? Email ID. What are the values? Title. These values will come null. My client will tell consumer, don't send null values. Don't send null values. If the value is null, then don't include that value in your JSON response. If value is null, then don't include that value. How to specify? Go to your bean. Operate JSON. Include. Operate JSON. Include. Value is equal. To value is equal. To JSON. Value is equal to include dot non null. Please include only non null properties only in your JSON. Please include only non null properties only in your JSON. That means don't include null properties. Now, if you go to here, run as java application see you got include if you see here include see null values are not coming earlier you got null values what are the email id null value earlier you got the null values like title now have you seen anywhere email id and title is here no. email id and title is here no did you get anything those kind of use cases here? No. Understood team. So this is the way how to use. This is the way how to use. Okay. Hope. Okay. Did you understand? Now we have seen all this one annotations and all. Now the next one. What is the root element? What is the root element? JSON property order we have already seen. JSON setters. If you have setters under getters, you can use this. But if you if you are using Lombok, these things would not be happened. If you are using Lombok, these things would not be happened. Now, last one, last serialize and deserialize. What is the root name? Till now, my JSON does not have any root name. So I want to give. I want to give while you are preparing. See, if you see, do you have any root name here? No. Account all are independent object. 
how can you represent the root name at the rate json root name maybe customer let's see now you are type this run as java application earlier is different now still it is not coming why it is not coming means you need to give root name you need to give root name json root name root name not working means you need to add you need to add object to mapper mapper is equal to something you should future you should add then only root name will come enabled serializes wrap root value you should give then only it is able to do it now run as java application that's why now here see you got one extra object is called customer no, no need but if you want represent you can represent it's not a problem language json see here is the root customer is the root inside of the root you have no need this kind of aggregation our you know depends upon the requirement you should use here here we have a option here we have a option like root one if you don't have option we need to check that understood right last one when we should go for custom serialize and deserialize when we should go for custom serialize and deserialize now see the requirement in your real time depends upon the requirement see what is your json data what is your balance balance is one lakh after one zero is there but, but my client requirement is I, I i don't want only one my client requirement is i want my client requirement is i want like uh, after decimal i want two zeros it is a client requirement after decimal i want two zeros so that it will be easy for my customers so the, while displaying this data on the ui my customers got easily my customers got easily understand my customers will get easily understand if you are not giving proper your customers can't understand easily your customers can't understand easily the, understood team so how can you give custom at the time you should go for custom serialize and deserialize okay depends upon the requirement we should go for custom serialize and deserialize now how to do first step you need to write a one class that class would be extends order json not this one balance custom it should be extends as a json serialize here balance is a double you are giving what format you want zero dot this one see what you need to do what you need to do you need to extends json serialization in your poc you want your own formats what you should use class balance balance serialization balance serialize it is extends json serializer what is this value would be double json serializable this value would be double 
add an implementing method. JSON serialize is the unimplemented method. JSON serialize is the unimplemented method. So now how will it be happened? Oh yes. You need to know what is the format. You need to know what is the format. Decimal format is equal to new decimal format. Gen dot JSON generator dot write value as a write object. So currency format dot format now value is equal to understood team. So you are clearly informed that I am formatting my value in this. The value automatically will come to here. The value I am formatting using decimal format is equal to new decimal format of string of this. Then, then, then what is the? So you need to know. So you, JSON generated dot write object current uh, currency format dot write date format data bracket it is zero. Understood thing. How is there? How is there advantage? Oh, okay, understood team. So now here, what is the value here? The value is that's it. Understood team. This is the way how how it would be executed. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you run the application, what happened? Let's see how to write JSON serialize requirement. When we should go for custom serialization. If you want our own, so then I should go for custom serialization. If if we want, we want, we want our own our own formats in spring if you want our own our own data if you want our own our own data if you want our own data then if you want our own data then we should go for We should go for custom serialization. That means, sir, if we want our own data, then yeah, our own data formats, uh, then we should go for custom. How to do this one? Earlier it was to now. If you run this application, this. One. if you run this one where to declare this on which field do you want which field do you want double field double field wherever in your code is there basic and all everything wherever this double code is there you go there and you will declare that wherever it is there so it is like a double right go for JSON serialize now value is equal value is equal using instead of value you should use using is equal to that using is equal to this class
वन सेकंड जेसन सीरियलाइज बीन सीरियलाइज डॉट क्लास बैलेंस सीरियलाइज ऑलरेडी वी हैव ए क्लास बैलेंस जेसन सीरियलाइज One second, team. Create the class. Custom JSON balance. Oh, it's a class name is different. Not here. Not here. Here. Balance series. Enum body JSON using balance serialize using balance serialize that's it so whenever you give this it will go in this class in this class what is happening you are clearly informed that after decimal take two three decimals but single decimal is not recommended after decimals maybe you should uh, you know give this format so that that format only will give Earlier it was XML, no JSON. JSON double value by default it will give only one only. You can hard code, it will go okay fine. But my intention is I don't want to give like this. I want as per my customer request is Friday value. Customer request is now here. See, you have to give your balance amount dot zero zero not only you should give single jar understood team okay depends upon the requirement you should use so now if you run right not this Now oh, yes, run as Maven. Here is the Maven, what happened to me? Click again, sir. Sorry? No, one second. Run as Java application. that's it now if you see how many decimal you came here two decimal we want to customize how our output is there who will prepare that end user only right end user also like us right if you want three after that what you will do go for here Go for here. Now, if you want decimal, how many? Three decimal. Now you should give either three or you should give how many you want. Now, if you run, now 
No. No run as Java application. That's it. Now, if you see how many will come. Now, now how many should come? Three should come. See, four after the four. How many are there here? Four. How many are there here? Four. That's it. So this is the way how to do. How to do. Here we got four means. Then in your decimal, right? Baseline is equal to two here. Two came here. Then how this four came? JSON serialize four. Already you have given JSON serialize. Here is that. One second. I am closing everything. Go for my customer. Go for my balance serialize. See, I am giving here four. That's why here it is getting four. So you can just check once how we have implemented our own custom serialization that's fine wherever it is required and been wherever it is required and been you need to specify that okay now that's it so whenever you will give right how many are there here if it is four after decimal four will come if it is one after decimal one will come this concept is called custom serialization understood thing so depends upon the requirement how your client will ask how your client will ask that depends upon the requirement you need to please go through these two from custom onwards please go through once it would be good same as deserialize also team have you checked two minutes this how this custom serialize we are writing check once team so then only whatever format you want that format you need to declare json serialize while returning the response that format that they will write some anything so depends upon the requirement you should go either two or three or four but this and these annotations will give all all this annotation will give all formats and whatever you want you can give it here. please check so, once is any, any is any rule uh, in the balance is still right still in a serialized method uh, only have one properties yeah can have many properties to give for in a serialized serialize a method uh, we should have only one properties that we can write many properties like uh, mobile number yeah many properties yeah what is trying to say i would like to say sir yeah in public wide serialize method i have mm -hmm. one property string 0 0.4 times 0 hash yeah it must be only one property there yeah, we can write many properties yeah, yeah. Only, like that only only one if you want two three write two three serializations separate separate classes okay yeah see this wherever double is there you can use in this class assume that in your java you have four or five place double is there you can use four or five places single class understood if you want different property different not double different float at the time you should write one more serialize understood so this is applicable for only one at a time only if you one. want right yeah 
So, so what is the output? What is the output? Earlier output would be this one. Now output is this. Now earlier output is only one. But my client is asking, so no, 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 minimum, uh, you know, I want a minimum two, three digits, not single one. Single one is not good for the customer. If single one is not good for the customer, what will do? Now you got how many you want? That many you should get it. Why four times zero? Why four times? You want only two times? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, no. We'll give. Go to here. Go in class and reduce to zero. Not That's save. Yeah. And now execute. Now run it. Now it's come with a two times zero after See. a single point. Yeah. Now you got two times. That's it. Understood, right? After decimal, now you got two. Any questions, team? See here. Depends. Depends upon the requirement. You should use this one. Here only formats of this decimal format. Whatever value is there here, double value will be. So wherever you want to use it here, you should use. Wherever you want to use it here, you should give. Let's see value is work. No, only using is working. So this is what. Any questions team here? Yes, Any sir. questions team? One second. Custom serialization. Here also we give same. Run as. Yep. Not this one. Okay. So this is what how to read. Any questions in team? So now output is now what is the output? Okay, expected output is after applying serialization now you should take this one as and you should give zero zero mm -hmm. yes sir any questions team you can ask just to check once check once team check once what is custom serialization custom serialization okay check once team Sir, uh, what this method will do, sir, write object currency format. This one, right? It will write into your JSON generator. So write object means this JSON generator only write will take care at runtime to convert your while at runtime. Hmm. This will take care. JSON generator will take care. So apply this format. Apply this format. JSON generator will get that field. So that field write object means at runtime. This JSON generator only will take care wherever actual double is there. It will apply this double. Currency format dot this one. And that value is uh, wherever the double is uh, that that is that value. Yeah, wherever is there, but you need to declare this one. While executing this class, this property would be replaced with this format. Okay. Default behavior. If you want number format, write one more number. If you want date, write one more. Every field you need to write one JSON serialized for one field only. One type of, one data type of field only. If you want to go for multiple, you can go. It's not a problem. Okay, sir. If any doubts, you can ask. Sir, in serialization process, we will get one unique ID. That uh, serialization you will add in whatever we are That is that. different. That is Java serialization. It is JSON serialization. Understood, team? Uh, I have one question, sir. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Uh, if uh, I have used uh, JSON serialize, custom serialize, mm -hmm. valence serialize at double. Mm -hmm. If I use int, then what will happen? It will no throw exception. No. Okay. If you want to change integer value, it is what is the need? Of, no. See, you can apply here. Is there an integer value? Order ID is a number. You want any change this uh, format? If you want to change for integer, or if any some date is there, if you want to change for a date, you can apply this also. See, let's see. You want to apply for uh, account number. Account number is a string mm -hmm. here. You want to apply for yes, integer. Sir. Let's see. Let's see what happened. If you want to apply, yeah. We'll see. Wherever is required. If account will have different requirement, we have to think. Let's see. Now, now we'll run. What happened in this year? I did not try earlier. I'm trying now. Class cast exception. Integer cannot be cast to double. Double can cast to integer, but integer cannot be cast to double understood right yeah. if if you have any integer specific requirement what you will do write one class it is date format right another one is class order id don't write order id order id order id formats Already for creating uh, below example, sir. It is a uh, Jackson Jackson. Sorry, sir, you have created class in Jackson uh, example. Okay, okay, okay. Write your own format here. Close all. Okay, I can order ID format. What format you want? Extends. Extends. JSON serializer. Here you need to give integer. How how you want to give on this integer? Integer no no see create instance of integer. No integer no specific format says a instead of integer if you want any some date values are required you should give. So what format you want integer? You have to decide that code you should write here instead of decimal format you have integer format integer instead of decimal you have number format number format here it is which package text package number format new number format what format you want you should give that format what format you want number format you have integer dot field one fraction one what you want string source preposition double number you want to convert this as a i don't want integer i want to give as a double number how to give double number
number just i'm checking okay depends double number cannot instantiate number format you have double number right it is a final number format we need to use constructors what are the constructors we have no no constructors we have number format no constructors we have no constructors we have what we will do number format is equal to new format format of this value but you have to know what value you should give number format dot format cannot instance that okay is it static class one second final string new number format of object so you can give this format dot of this value okay but how can we what format you want how can we specify that uh, format that you should know number format or date format what is the requirement on our instance we should know what is the requirement without knowing requirement you can't do anything and this number format whenever it is coming what you want on this number format new number format there is no constructor like this to provide this number format decimal is equal to new decimal or int number is equal to zero this type of is not there so you cannot do anything on this number so you can give date formats date formats if in your code anywhere date is there string date i can give order date i can give order date private string uh, integer cannot be uh, converted into decimal no, sir yes 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 so now i can go for date date yeah oh, it's good example yeah. yeah what is the default to date format will give mm. go for json serialized demo mm -hmm. i'm removing this json serialized demo order date date ddmm yy dd mm yy -hmm. yy 2021 yeah yeah mm. order two change date six
order three. So if I run no. this, let's see. First, we'll see problem statement. No, I got the. Mm -hmm. you, you already you have DOB right? No, date is not required. Already you have DOB. Where customer DOB, but mm -hmm. my requirement is here DDMM YY is coming. I don't want DDMM YY. I want our own as, format. Yeah, yeah, own format. Date format. Date format. Format. Okay, now date format serialize class. Now it is extends. And serializer. Liar and implement a wide. You should give string unimplemented serialize method. Serialize method. How to do string? string. Yeah. You don't yeah. want DDMM. You want MM. YY. YY. DD. MDD. YY. YY. Y -Y. There is a date format one of the class. Yeah. Uh, it format. Uh, format is called format to. Is equal to format. New date format. And pass the string object. So to pass the string object. Uh, next uh, it says, are there is no any constructor? Can't instantiate date format. Why it is only balance can instance decimal format. Decimal format is a subclass of Sub number, of format. number format. It has variety of features designed to make it possible. One second, date formatter class. Is date and time formatter subclass which formats the simple date formats. Uh, simple date format it will take i think uh, yeah hmm. simple date format now what you will do so gen now, dot gen dot write object write object and pass format write object of what you will do format object Format dot format of value, whatever value will come that way. Understood? So, same as here, value is this one. I am using same like this one. Okay, if you date format confuse means that's fine. It is easy now. Going clash. Going that bean, wherever bean is there, at the rate. And uh, JSON. So, serialize. Serialize. Using. 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 A class name. Date format yeah. serialize. Dot class. That's fine. No, okay. That's yeah. fine. Now go to this JSON serialized demo. Now run as Java application. Cannot format now this one. What is the error? Cannot format given object to date. String to date, you cannot format it. JSON mapping exception cannot format given object to model class customer DOB. Customer 
let's assume that date format where is that here date so we give as a date let's see util date util date where is that here here we can give new of date this is no need here is the date customer date new date set date in hours minutes and all no let's will change this to printing new date what value will come go to your uh, customer i'm stopping this first let me check what is the default value will come what is the id order id customer dob it came different format it came different format yes it is second format no? yeah it is given its own format dob it's given its own format here is that here while setting the data new dob means i new think DOB uh, means. Uh, hello sir yeah i think uh, in date format serialize we, we do not have uh, used proper way to format date yeah i have to pass yes sir create one of the date objects sir Let's see. Cannot write field name as expecting value. We did so many use cases like this. date format serializer serializer cannot write field name expecting value at expecting value at right value object start means who has given the start right value object that's it right object right object sir yeah tell me uh, now sir create when a date object where uh, because i checked on internet sir to format uh, the simple date to uh have some steps yeah yeah I... 
I understood. So now I got this one. So my date format issue got resolved, but so now it is coming as a MMYYDD. MMYY, I mean MMDDYY. Now we need to resolve this exact format. Yeah, we need to resolve this exact format. Understood. So earlier the issue was by mistake it was happened like this. Right object to field start. It's wrong. No, it's okay. So depends upon our requirement. What format you want, you need to write this one here. What format you want, you need to write that format here. Depends upon the requirement, you should use this one. Depends upon the requirement, you should write this one. Understood? Are you clear? Yeah. This is the way how to write. So, custom serialization. Custom serialization. Understood, team? Any questions we can ask now? No, sir. Yeah. Now, next example, we'll see. See, next example, we'll see books use case example. How the books use case example? Now, we'll see practical. How the books use case example? Now, we'll see practical. How the books use case example will see practical. I need one database using MySQL. My requirement is get the list of books from the database. I am using DB Viewer. DB Viewer is one of the uh, good tool for database connectivity. DB Viewer is one of the good tool for database connectivity why it is not there db ever db ever software It is a like ID, like how the SQL told. So database, okay, instead of connecting from the command prompt, you can connect from the ID. You can connect from the ID. You can connect from the ID. No one will connect from using command prompt. How to see so it is my database. Username and password, URL, username and password. Test database. I am checking. You have already any tables is there or not with books details? Yes. Run as view data, read data in SQL console. See, I have all the books information. Books, all the books information is there books image url also is there i have how many images i have number of book. books is equal to that many images i have i have all the details okay, books details i have okay sorry yes sir yeah see i have so books details book name author name series in stock price Pages, language, publication year, weight, height, width, image URL. I have everything from books underscore details one. I have everything now. I have everything now here. See, now here interest one is what is interest one? Now here, see. I need to write one of the rest API now. I need to write one REST API. Book service. F 
find all books. Base DAO means how to get the connection. Class dot for name. It is MySQL, sir. Yeah, it is MySQL. I am trying to the... yeah, get the connection. But you are going to I'm use trying to enough. get the connection. Sir, no, 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 no. DB viewer is the IDE. DB viewer is the IDE. It is an audio okay. okay, Eclipse IDE. It is a database IDE. Using this IDE, you can connect to any database. I can connect to MySQL, I can connect to Postgres, I can connect to Oracle, I can connect to SQL Server, I can connect to any type of database. Okay. This ID for database and we keep understood. To any, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, instead of instead of you will go for Oracle command prompt, instead of you will go for Postgres command prompt, I will go to IDE. From IDE, I can connect. IDE means it will provide the commands automatically. If it is a command prompt, means you need to type these commands manually. IDE will provide, you know hope you know advantage of id id will provide some with good interface predefined features uh, yeah uh, yes. how it, it will be connect to the database <laughs> no it is just yeah. id no no, no 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 it will connect how means like see good point no if it is mysql next yeah i will provide mysql host name database okay, name yeah. username and password how you are connecting your database from your code mm -hmm. username and password. yeah if it is you want to connect to postgres next mm -hmm. you have to give mm -hmm. you have to give it is trying into postgres, a, uh, post name database name username and password that's it it will connect yeah. once connects that's what i did here yes my cinotech database is there how cinotech you know how cinotech website will come cinotech is okay deployed into somewhere remote i'm giving instead of local host i'm giving cinotech ip address awesome great understood sir yeah, yeah. that's sir yeah See what database you are. Database may be in your local, database may be AWS, database may be cloud. If it is local, you need local host. If it is remote, that remote IP address you want, that IP address you need to take. That's it. So during our project, sir, will we use this uh, ID, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our project will use this one. Okay, awesome. Great, sir. Understood. Understood, no. sir. Mm. Now we'll see now. See. To yeah. install we'll that. See. It is open source. You can download freely from internet. It is open source. Now see. Book service. It is book DAO. Select star from book details. Connection. C dot create statement. Okay, here you have okay, execute statement. I will rs dot next you got one by one row i am preparing one by one book object one by one row i am preparing one by one book object one by one row means i am preparing one by one book object how many books are there that many times this row will be executed ultimately i am adding all this row to whom book list if it is see please go through this source code once it is very simple source code nothing is complex select star from book details i got the book details I'm I got the book details. I got the result set 
every rs dot next okay next row will come that next row will go to here it will prepare the book object how many how many rows are there every row is a one book object okay every row is a one book object all the list of the book objects i am storing into this list that's it first book object second book object third book object i am storing all this into that hope it is clear it is our dao it is our dao what my dao is doing my dao is preparing the book objects my dao is preparing the book objects understood now once this book object is okay from book service i am calling dao dot find all that's it whenever you got list of books it is java object at provider end jackson would be there your java object automatically will be converting into in json your jackson internally will write how to convert your java object into json i have already shown that poc that jackson will take care internally object mapper mapper is equal to new object to mapper your jackson will take care whole this stuff jackson will take care of all the stuff jackson will give list of books details see i am click on run as java application team hope you got it or any questions no i am going to deploy this application refresh copy i'm pasting here jacks rs book service underscore json where it is there now start the server yeah already started and run the local host url yeah go for this books one first i will run this service next i will go to front end how to run this service if i give slash books yeah. 404 means in my app.xml somewhere i have it slash rest slash books See? Yeah, it is coming. I have list of books. See, I have list of books. See, I have this is one book, book two, book three, book four, book five, book six. book 7 book 8 book 9 10 11 12 13 13 14 15 25 yeah all are my book objects yes all are my book objects so every book you have the image you are this is the image you are this image is also i have deployed here one web application see it is okay image is one web application mm -hmm. image is one web application 
here I placed all these images, books images. I have deployed these images also into the Tomcat okay, image. Yes, sir. Images also is available. So if you want to see here images. If you click on the links. Yeah, here. Yeah. Images. Images. How to access. So are... you, you got the one image. You got the second image. Two. You got the third image. How many images are there? You are going into get all the images. All the images. Hope it is clear, team, everyone. So yes, what I am doing now? What I am doing now? I got all the images. So like. Similarly, you got here okay employee details also. Employee same book service. You got the employee employee resource. Instead of books here, you will give employee. I am taking new one. Instead of books, you take employees. I got the employee details. How the employee details? List of employees. Who will convert this no. employees to? Who will convert list of employees to JSON? Can anyone tell? Who will convert list of employees to JSON? Can anyone tell? Object. Yes, sir. Who will do? Object mapper. Object mapper, but before object mapper, who will do? Yes. Jackson. Not the dependent. Jackson B, sir. Ah, uh, you will Jackson. tell Jackson is there. Jackson will take care this convert Java object to JSON. Jackson. You will tell Jackson will take care to convert Java object to JSON. Understood. Jackson will take care. You don't need to write any single line of the code. You don't need to write any single line of the code. Jackson will take care everything. Understood here now. Now we'll see. Yes, sir. So now, how to call this from the UI? I have written the UI stuff also here. At this time, it is no need to understand all complete UI stuff. You no need to understand complete UI stuff. What we are doing, you need to change this endpoint URL. See how we are doing this. It is a old code, JavaScript code. Whenever you click on load employees, load book, books, load books means it will go for load JSON. Load books means it will go for load JSON. JSON function, yeah. Load books means it will, yeah. So it will take JSON. one means books, zero means employee. It will go there. Mm -hmm. It will go there. It will talk to that system. It mm -hmm. will execute backend system and get the list of books. Iterate the mm -hmm. one, one by one book. Store mm -hmm. all the results into this result. Mm -hmm. Document dot get element by ID inner dot HTML. This result I am displaying. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. I am doing. Understood. So that is available here. I'm just displaying front end. Later we'll see Angular stuff. I'm just displaying front end. Here is my books. Books one, books are this thing. Load books. It will display all the books. Means from the UI, it is calling API. API will give the list of books as in JSON. Your browser is able to parse this one. How to parse your in JSON data? Here is okay, Jackson is not required. JSON dot parse from the backend. Whatever JSON response is there, 
your browser is able to parse this json data oh. understood right you don't need to write any code if it is java oh. means at least jackson is there if it is javascript framework means you don't need who will take care your browser will take care browser will read all this json data parse it and okay displaying all the books details here understood if it is if it is employees go to back books if it is employees only employee data will be stored if it is books only books data will be stored if it is employee employees data would be stored if it is books books data would be stored this is the way how the real time use case we can use it any questions team flow means from the, sir, sir from the uh, rest no, no, methods no, 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 no. Yeah. no sir this not this is not i'm asking i'm asking yeah, yeah. just code level flow yeah yeah so from the ui we are calling my api understood this one yes sir from the ui we are calling our api so request will go to my book service or employee this m books service will talk to backend system it will give all books details list of books details it will give all list of books details is it clear everyone it will give all list of books details it will give all list of books details once you got this book details once you got this book, book details what it would do once you got the book details so while returning this book details response to your consumer jackson internally it will use object mapper it will convert list of books into this json books json this json given to whom this consumer what this consumer will do parse this json iterate one by one object how to iterate for, for json object is null json dot book dot is null json dot book is undefined some issues will no result this called. is all uh, javascript yeah it is okay javascript so if data is there then you are okay iterating all the json data displaying this json data on the browser using document dot get element by id inner dot html result uh, sir uh, this that sir that list you are reading right sir yeah sir, th that list how you are using in dot js file sir the how, dot how? jsp file using uri assume that it is a one separate uh, consumer application using uri you are hitting you you are getting json data how you are from postman you are hitting you got the json data similarly from javascript you are hitting you got json yes sir. read that json and you are uh, okay parsing and uh, display that json data on the browser understand sir okay sir confusion sir yeah what confusions please let me know service and are you clear that is the reason i want to write this diagram you told no 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 it's not so it is my provider it is my consumer it is my provider please try to understand here what you have book service book dao you have here what is there you have database here i am hitting the uri it is my let's assume that it is my javascript here i am hitting the uri slash rest slash books complete uri 
request will go to book service request will go to this dao it will go to db database db will give result set this dao will go to this book service it will give response now what i am trying to say here here you got result set here you got list of books objects here this books object will be converting into json we will convert this one list of books your jackson is there jackson will convert here in the browser read the response means json data uh, read the books response books json response okay so iterate get okay iterate iterate all the json array objects display on browser that's it i am doing here till now my provider my provider always is giving json list of books to this javascript okay next one see what is next one now this is what how the rest would work so just we'll spend some time on spring rest so anyhow we'll explain in depth in our in our project right at that time we'll see spring rest working spring rest is working spring with rest is nothing but is nothing but working on spring mvc except view layer same as so you need to use annotations spring rest annotations to implement spring rest one is at the rate rest controller another one is at the rate request mapping which is equal as at the rate path another one is get mapping equal as at the rate get post mapping equal as at the rate post put mapping equal and at the rate put we have so many annotations are there now next one on so on at the rate xxx mapping okay, next one at the rate request body it is used to bind the request to data now next one at the rate path variable there path param here path variable at the rate request param it is equal to query string at the rate request header it is used for how to read the values from the header how to read the values from the uri as a path it is equal to path pair up how to read the values from the uri as query string how to read the values from the header request body it is used to convert xml or json to java object this is bind to at the rate post annotation the rate post annotation response body is optional but convert java object to xml or, or json this is bind to get annotation if you understand that it will be easy nothing is there in spring rest how to work with the spring rest now we will see practically how to same order service using spring rest so steps to implement spring rest step number one steps to implement spring rest okay step number one how it works and all now we'll see create maven web project add spring mvc related add spring mvc dependencies in palm.xml write 
resource which represent it other rest rest controller, rest controller. and at the rate request mapping right sub resources which will have at the rate rate request mapping it will have at the rate request mapping or right okay, sub resources which will have at the rate request mapping or at the rate get mapping or whatever it I will explain the difference. Now write the business logic in sub resources. Sixth one. Right. Write .xml. Configure. Configure. Dispatchers are left Dispatch. with dispatchers. Yeah. Now deploy the application. Test the application. Let's we'll see one simple application using paint. Later I will show you practicals. At the rate, rest of controller. Either you will pass here request to mapping or not, it's an optional. Request to mapping value is equal. Gold slash orders it's optional whether you will pass or not now here see public class orders controller public orders get orders it may be list get orders in the bracket nothing is there right here in the bracket int order id string name here either only one or multiple next one order response order request request like that we have different one now how to apply these our annotations how to apply our annotations either you should give simple you should give simple at the rate get mapping class orders or by default it will give response is json or what you will do at the rate or it's not and or request to mapping value is equal to method is equal to produces application slash yes both are correct either you should go for if you give request to mapping you need to give explicitly this http method dot get you need to give http method dot get Produces is this understood now how about this one same either you should go for this one now now here very very important here either you should give here order id or you should give here order id here input is mandatory next one next one also both either you should give here is input is optional it is query either you will give this you will not give this okay it's not a problem here is okay input is optional get everything is okay but here here you need to give at the rate path variable order id int order id here is what it is query arguments what you will do at the rate request to param order id at the rate request to param now name name now name depends okay no no done next one last one either you should go for 
see how the last one is there please try to understand it is a post post mapping here slash orders http method post here you need to give produces you should give always consumes you should give produces and you should give consumes so it depends either you should give above or above. either you should give that one or you should give this one both are same either one you should use is it clear team yes sir okay hope you got it now yeah now this is what how how we need to give either you should go for request to mapping you should go or you should go for only post mapping either you should go for request mapping you should go or you should go for only get mapping either you should go for this or you should go it's all okay depends here this is what how how, how to identify this class as a resource how to identify this class as a resource now if you are going with the uh, dev.xml you need to configure inside of this web.xml in web.xml you need to configure dispatcher servlet configure dispatcher servlet configure dispatcher servlet either either you will use your cap dot xml or if you use uh, java config that is different i will explain that later if you are using java config now you should know how to now you should know if you use java config how to write a class that that class extend as a dispatcher annotation config servlet it's all depends this is the way how to use it okay now so based on this servlet whenever request will come request uri would be same slash order servlet slash rest slash order it will go to here slash rest slash orders one two three means it will go for this slash rest slash order order id is equal to one two three order name is equal to mobile it will go to another step next one so it is post post means what you will do slash orders what you will do like go to here how to display here you need to frame the uri that uri we should pass order id order name description and so on we should pass that's it this is the way how to execute it So it is a post one it is a get one understood so doesn't matter the the syntaxes will be different okay that's it remaining all it would be easy if it is one two three it will talk to this if it is two arguments as a query parent it will talk to this request parent if it is a post it will talk to this that's it there is no presentation layer everything is a represent as a json 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 that's it so the business logic would be irrespective of jax rs spring rest business logic would be same but the difference is if it is spring rest you will use the spring rest annotations to expose as a test api if it is plain rest you need to go for jax rs annotations and jax rs of dot xml please check one minute any doubts you can ask uh, sir uh, difference between path variable and request parent sir no same how the difference between path vary path param and query param 
path param is the input is uh, mandatory we should go query param input is optional we should go similarly here path variable means path param input is mandatory request param means query param input is optional understood clear sir hope everything is clear team okay